हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सोनिया आई सो टुडे व्हाट इज द एजेंडा ऑफ आर मीटिंग द एजेंडा इज टू डिस्कस द नाइन ईयर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट आर्ट एंड कल्चर सो फर्स्टली हाउ आर यू गाइस एंड सेकेंडली आई होप यू गाइस हैव कवर्ड द स्टार्टिक पार्ट ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट दैट विल हेल्प यू टू जज बेटर वॉट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड टिल नाउ कि वो कितना यूजफुल था नहीं था कितना आपको आगे हेल्प करेगा अदर वे राउंड इफ यू गाइज हैव नॉट कवर्ड यहाँ पे कुछ ऐसे भी होंगे तो फॉर दोज इट विल बी योर गाइडलाइन इट विल बी योर बाइबल टू टेल यू कि कौन कौन से टॉपिक्स पे आपको ज़्यादा फोकस करना है एंड सम पीपल ऑल्सो आज द क्वेश्चन कि मैम वॉट टू स्टार्ट इन करेंट अफेयर्स वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस ईयर्स आर्ट एंड कल्चर एग्जाम टू बी आज इन द एग्जाम्स फॉर एनी एग्जाम से तो यहाँ पे आपको आइडिया लग जाएगा यू पी एस सी जो एग्जाम लेता है कि वो कौन कौन से स्टार्टिक के टॉपिक्स को फोकस करता है एंड How it targets the current affairs questions from art and culture, specifically this topic we are going to discuss. And next thing is, कैसे हम analyze करेंगे? So these are the eight chapters or the eight topics, जहाँ पे जिसमें हमने complete art and culture को divide किया है, right? So Indian architecture, we'll discuss all the questions, जितने भी आज तक पूछे हुए हैं, paintings. रिलीजन एंड फिलोसफी मार्शल आर्ट लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल्स एंड द मिसलिनियस टॉपिक्स वॉट एवर विल बी आउट ऑफ दिस सेवन चैप्टर्स राइट सो नाउ वॉट इज द स्ट्रैटेजी वॉट इज द ट्रिक हाउ यू हैव टू कवर दिस सेशन एज सोन एज आई शो यू द क्वेश्चन एंड वेन आई विल बी रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन आपको टाइम मिल जाएगा टू एनालाइज द क्वेश्चन रीड द क्वेश्चन राइट इन दैट टाइम यू हैव टू थिंक द आंसर इन योर ओन माइंड and then we will see what the correct answer is and we will also see the background story related to that question <laughs> right and side by side we will also be noting down the particular theme in indian architecture also which theme is focused upon that we will see so starting with our very first question Which one of the following statements is correct? Ajanta caves lie in the gorge of Vagora River. Sanchi Stoop lies in the gorge of Chambal River. Pandu Lena Cave shrines lie in the gorge of Narmada River. Amravati Stoop lies in the gorge of Godavari River. So, now, what is the question? Cave. and the river associated so beside this question, along with this question or yeah when we are solving this previous year question you have to keep the loose sheets a4 size sheets apne paas rakhni hai and whatever you feel is important like theme like any fact you have to scribble it there then and there only usse aapko do fayde rahenge ek to when all the three sense organs work simultaneously means you have to give the answer orally even if you are listening at at your home i know that but still whenever i ask you what is the correct option you have to speak up right your speaking skills your listening and writing your kya bolte dekhne wala visibility when everything all of your sense organs are working together in one task to wo aapke mind mein bahut acha fit ho jata hai you don't have to memorize it particularly wo automatically aapki सबकॉन्शियस माइंड में बैठ जाएगा फाइन सो हेयर राइट डाउन द थीम इज केव्स यू हैव टू रिवाइज ऑल द केव्स इससे आपको ये पता चला है फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन से राइट नाउ विल सी अजंता केव्स वी ऑल नो दैट इट इज इन द गॉर्ज ऑफ वागोरा रिवर सो दिस गिव्स यू द करेक्ट ऑप्शन बट हम क्या करेंगे चारों ऑप्शन देखेंगे राइट सांची स्तूप It lies in the gorge of Chambal River. No, it is Betwa. Pandu Lena Caves, also known as Pandav Lena Caves. ये कहाँ पे है? It lies in the gorge of Narmada River. No, 
इट इज द गोदावरी अमरावती स्तूप लाइज इन द गोर्ज ऑफ गोदावरी रिवर नो इट इज कृष्णा रिवर नाउ लेट्स रीड अबाउट दीज वन बाय वन फर्स्ट इज अजंता केव्स वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्टली इट इज अ रॉक कट केव यू हैव टू स्क्रिबल द फैक्ट आई एम रिपीटिंग इट अगेन एंड अगेन इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेर इट इज लोकेटेड औरंगाबाद महाराष्ट्र हाउ मेनी केव्स थर्टी केव्स वाई यू शुड नो द नंबर ऑफ केव्स कई बार यू पी एस सी आपको केव्स देगा एंड यू एंड इट विल आस्क यू टू अरेंज इट इन असेंडिंग या डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर राइट फाइव चैत्या ट्वेंटी फाइव विहारा नाउ वॉट डू यू मीन बाय द टर्म चैत्या वॉट डू यू मीन बाय द टर्म विहारा Chaitya are the prayer halls. The caves which were used as prayer halls were known as chaityas, and the caves, जहाँ पे monks and nuns used to reside, उसे बोलते हैं विहारा. Residence, place of residence. Now they are cut into U-shaped cliff overlooking river Vagora, discovered by Captain John Smith in 1819. I know it's a bit factual. बहुत सारे अभी फैक्ट्स आएंगे अभी तो स्टार्ट हुआ है राइट right, बट आपको क्या करना है यू हैव टू रिवाइज मल्टीपल टाइम्स या सॉल्व नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन उससे क्या होगा ये फैक्ट ऑटोमेटिकली आपके माइंड में इम्बाई पूछा जाए ना वॉट आर द फीचर्स ऑफ द केव्स दे आर पेंटेड विद फ्रेसकोज वॉट एवर न्यू टर्म यू सी दैट इज दी दिस इज द ट्रिक नॉट जस्ट फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट फॉर एवरी सब्जेक्ट वाई एवरीबडी सेज एवरी टॉपर सेज कि पी वाई क्यूज आर द बाइबल टू द एग्जाम वाई बिकॉज यू यू डोंट हैव टू जस्ट मग अप द क्वेश्चन एंड द आंसर मैनी पीपल से मी कि मैम वी सॉल्व ट्वेंटी ईयर्स वी सॉल्व फिफ्टीन ईयर्स वी सॉल्व टेन ईयर्स बट उसमें से तो क्वेश्चन ही नहीं आया बट हम पेपर ने हमारा फिल्म्स नहीं क्लियर हुआ वाई द एरर कहाँ पे हो रहा है द एरर इज यू है ऑप्शन उससे रिलेटेड जितना स्टोरी है जितना बैकग्राउंड है आपको एच एंड एवरी टर्म क्लियर होना चाहिए राइट सो हेयर इट इज पेंटेड विथ फ्रेसकोज वॉट यू मीन बाई फ्रेसकोज फ्रेसकोज द पेंटिंग विच इज नॉट डन डायरेक्टली एक्चुअली लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक थोड़ा सा बताती हूँ मैं बैकग्राउंड स्टोरी पहले क्या होता था uh, कि यू डोंट हैव दैट कैनवास और समथिंग जिस पे आप प्रॉपर पेंटिंग कर सकते हो सो दे यूज टू पेंट ऑन द वॉल्स इनिशियली दे स्टार्टेड पेंटिंग ऑन द रॉक डायरेक्टली बट लेटर ऑन विद द एवोल्यूशन द ह्यूमन बींग्स ने ये सोचा दैट वी शुड प्रिपेयर अ सर्फेस एंड देन वी विल पेंट तो वेन द सर्फेस इज फर्स्ट प्रिपेयर उसको फ्लैटन किया जाए तो उसके बाद कलर्स अप्लाई करते हैं दैट इज नोन एट फ्रेस्को and how they used to prepare the base powder rice husk right they, some pigment they used to add right and then uh, the surface is prepared then it is plastered with lime once it get there are two ways now a dry fresco and wet fresco if the colors are applied on the dry surface then it is known as dry fresco if the colors are applied on the wet surface then it is known as wet obviously what do we paint whatever we see around us or whatever we can think to us time kya tha they everybody surrounded by the nature only itna society and all ka development nahi tha so that's why they have high level of naturalism right outline in red absence of blue color please write it in box that there was no blue color used in the janta paintings theme is buddhism you should know in that theme you'll find life of buddha jataka stories avdanas right the caves belong to hinayan buddhism again a new keyword and the mahayan keyword uh, buddhism what is hinayan and what is mahayan he 
Tibetan Buddhism is the Buddhism where Buddha is worshipped in the form of symbols. And Mahayana Buddhism is the Buddhism where Buddha is formed in the uh, form of worshipped in the form of images. Okay. So, Hinyan pehle develop hua, to early caves mein wahi milega. There are certain things jo by default aapko lagne lag jayengi. Ki nahi yaar, ye, I don't have to memorize it, to common sense hai. Mahayan baad mein aaya, to later caves will find Mahayan Buddhism. Now, there are certain sculptures or the paintings which are very important. Mahapari Nirvana, cave number 26. Naga King and his consort, 19. Cave number 10, oldest, 26, latest, and because they form a very, very, very important part of our heritage, that's why they are included in UNESCO's list of world heritage sites in 1983. Next is Amala First of all, two puppies, Amala like structure. Mound like structure, dome like structure, where the relics of the dead person is kept. So here relics of Buddha kept, right? Now it is in white in color, so you can memorize here that it is made up of white marble. Now its Pradakshina kept enclosed within a Vedika portrayed with much narrative sculpture. So what do you mean by Pradakshina path? Pradakshina path is the circumambulatory path. जहाँ पे परिक्रमा देते हैं, that is the प्रदक्षिणा पथ। और प्रदक्षिणा पथ के बाहर भी एक बाउंड्री है, that is वेदिका। वेदिका पे क्या है? कुछ कुछ स्कल्पचर्स हैं, right? And that's why it is known as narrative sculpture. Why? Because को वो कुछ narrate कर रहे हैं, they are narrating a story। किससे related story है? Related to the life of Buddha, Abdanas, Jatak stories, right? Domical stoop structure, it is dome in shape, right? Toran has disappeared over time. What do you mean by the term Toran? Toran, aapne suna ago, Toran are the gateways. Toran are the gateways. Located in north, south, east and west direction. Char Toran hote the. North, south, east and west. The events from the life of Buddha. Jatak stories. Early phase devoid of Buddha images. Why? Because pehle kya aya? Hinyan aya and later on came Mahayan. It lies in the gorge of Krishna River. Clear? Second question. With reference to art and archaeological history of India, which among the following was made earliest? Lingaraj Temple at Bhuvaneshwar. Rocket Elephant at Dhali. Rocket monuments at Mahabalipuram, Varaha image at Udaygiri. So, guys, how you are going to attempt this question? One trick is the, the simple one is that you should be aware about the timeline. And let me tell you the cheat trick that if you guys are not able to memorize your thoda bool gayo exam, mein, how you can recall, get to the answer, still attempt the question. The trick is. When you are doing your static part, you are covering your syllabus. You cover the chapters in a particular order and that order is same as the chronological order. Right. So, what do we read first? IVC. Then, we have Vedic times. Then, we have Mahajanpadas. Then, we have Mauryas. Then we have post Maurya, Gupta, post Gupta. Then we study about South. Then we have medieval wala part, then modern wala part. Aise chalta hai. Ancient ka ye order hai ta. Right. So when we were studying, to humne varaha image kaha pe padha hai. At the time of Gupta, to Gupta to yaha pe hai. Chik hai. Temple ke baare mein kuch kuch, I hope you, show, you must be knowing ki kab kaun sa bana hai, but still I am just telling ki in case nahi pata. Tab bhi humne temple ke liye, the first time that we study temple is in the 
Gupta time only. And these both are the rocket rocket. Rocket wala part we cover in Maurya. Right. And in the southern India ke when we do the art and architecture. So, now, Dholi, when do we study? We study Dholi here and Mahabalipuram here. So, what comes first? Dholi. So, this is the type of presence of mind that you should keep in mind. It's not that timeline question dekha, oh my god, I don't know and all, you left the question. That, that should not be your mindset. Right, so our correct option is Dholi, the earliest one. No, let's see the detailed one. Dholi, 272 to 231 BC. Okay. Where it is located? Odisha. So here you can see Dholi Wala. And here you can see a half elephant is moving out of the cave. So here you can see only front half of the elephant is visible. Elephant walking out of the rock. Carved over the edicts of Ashoka. If you remember that Ashoka used to spread his messages, whatever he wanted to tell to his people, he used to get them inscribed on the rocks or the pillars. Rocks or the pillar edicts. Right? So here you will find the Kalinga edict that uh, Ashoka got inscribed after he was, uh, after he changed from uh, Beri Ghosh to Dhamma Ghosha. Right? Udaygiri, 350 to 550 CE, CE means after the, that was BC, right, here it is CE, they are located in MP, Achha, now another trick, where, yeah, another place where UPSC can trick you, is one is Udaygiri, another is Udaygiri and Khandgiri. This is in Odisha. It got patronage by Kharvel King and it is related to Jainism. Right? But here it is located in Vidisha MP and it is related to Vaishnavism, Shaivism, Shaktism. Right? It is located above the Tropic of Cancer. It is believed that on the day of summer solstice, right? I hope you guys have covered geography. The sun was directly overhead in this place. So that's why it is known as Uday Giri. Giri means mountain. Uday means rise, sunrise. And here you will find iconic Varaha sculpture. What is Vara? Vara is the boar incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Bhagavan Vishnu ne Vara ka avatar liya tha. Kyu? Kyu ki jo arth thi wo doob rahi thi. Arth Bhudevi. Bhudevi ko unho ne apni tusk se nikala tha. So that's why you can see that here Mother Earth is clinging to the tusk of boar. What patronage of Nitta rulers. Next is Lingaraj temple. 11th century AD by Somuvanshi King Yayati 1. Ling Raj Temple. So it is related. We have heard about Shivling. Shivling. So that's why it is related to Shivling is related to Lord Shiva. So the chief deity here is Lord Shiva. And it is considered to be the largest temple of Bhuvaneshwar. Built in red sandstone. And it is an example of Kaling style of architecture. See, if I will talk about temple. So, there are three major styles. One is Nagar. Another one is Dravida style. Third is Visara. Nagar is the style of North India. Dravida is the style of south india and when both north and south get mixed to wo kya ho jata hai vesara style right ling raj is referred to as swayam bhu swayam swayam means self bhu originating wo khud se maha shivling aayi hai the shivling got originated on its own from that place 
नो बडी एल्स हैज टेकन शिवलिंग फ्रॉम एन अदर प्लेस एंड वहाँ उसकी स्थापना नहीं की गई है इट इज नॉट प्लेसड ओवर दर राइट इट केम ऑटोमेटिकली इट इज द इट सिग्निफाइज द सिंक ऑफ शेविज्म एंड वैष्णविज्म ऑल्सो लेक बिंदु सागर इट इज लोकेटेड इन द नॉर्थ ऑफ द टेम्पल गाइस साथ साथ स्ट्रिबल करते रहना है डोंट सेट लाइक यू आर सेटिंग लाइक एज इफ यू आर वॉचिंग अ मूवी इट इज नॉट मूविंग ऑन गोइंग यू हैव टू पार्टिसिपेट राइट महाबलीपुरम तो महाबलीपुरम हैज रॉक कट रथा सो यू हैव स्कल्पर्स लाइक अर्जुना सो लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू दैट इज नोन एज अर्जुना or descent of ganges what is there here's a man standing with his hands like this some people say that this person is arjun he is worshiping lord shiva for pashupat weapon and some people say that pers this person is bhagirath who is worshiping lord shiva to get ganga on earth so whoever it is the penance is very very strong jo tapasya tap kar rahe hain bahut zyada strong hai because there are ample people around here to disturb this guy but this person is not even stirring wo apni tapasya mein pure leen hai that person is totally involved in that penance the caves of govardhan dhari govardhan dhari govardhan is a mountain and the one who held that that is known as govardhan dhari who is that lord krishna mahisha sur mardini mahisha sur was the demon spirit by goddess durga so mahisha sur mardini dedicated to goddess durga jala Jal Sayan Perumal Temple. Jal means water. Sayan means sleeping. So Perumal Lord Vishnu ka hi name hai. So here you will see sleeping Mahavishnu or the Chakran. That person, मतलब Lord Vishnu is also known as Chakran. Why? Because he holds Chakra in his finger. Right. So after seeing all the sculptures, you can conclude that the sculptures are related to Vaishnavites. Right. then there is another sculpture there that is sapt pagoda what do we mean by sapt pagoda sapt means seven seven carvings for what are those seven rathas so you uh, the patronage was by pallava king narsimha varman 1 and yahan pe hai aapka mahabharat se related characters hain dharmaraj rath draupadi rath arjun rath bhim rath नकुल सहदेव रथ थ्री एक्स्ट्रा गणेश रथ पिंडारी रथ एंड बलायन कुताई रथ अर्जुना रथ इज नोन फॉर शिवा द्रौपदी और दुर्गा इफ हेल टॉक इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइज तो द बिगेस्ट वन इज ऑफ धर्मराज द स्मॉलेस्ट वन इज ऑफ द्रौपदी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विद रेफरेंस टू द इंडियन हिस्ट्री ऑफ आर्ट एंड कल्चर the the following pairs, famous work of of sculpture, and the site, a grand image of Buddha's Mahaparinirvan <coughs> with famous celestial musicians above and below figures of his followers below. Ajanta, a huge image of Varaha avatar, four incarnation of Lord Vishnu. as he rescues god is earth from the deep and chaotic waters sculpted on rock mount abu arjuna's penance descent of ganges sculpted on the surface of huge boulders mamallapura which of the pairs given above is or are correctly matched so we have already seen here you can see the repetition पीपल हु से ना यूपीएससी क्वेश्चन रिपीट नहीं करता भाई रिपीट करता है इफ यू हैव रेड द थीम परफेक्टली ना तो क्वेश्चंस गेट रिपीटेड तो बुद्धस महापरिनिर्वाण वी हैव सीन दैट इट इज प्रेजेंट इन अजंता 
image of Varaha avatar. Where we have read about Varaha avatar, Abhi just we have read that is in Udaygiri, Madhya Pradesh, not in Mount Abu. And Arjuna's penance we have seen that is in Mahabalipuram ya Mamallapuram. So one and three are correct match. So Ajanta we have already covered the theory. Varaha covered, descent of the Ganges covered. So this was the repeated question of UPSC. Next is with reference to Chausat Yogini Temple. Situated in Morena, consider the following statements. It's a circular temple built during the reign of Kachpa Ghatta dynasty. It is the only circular temple built in India. It was meant to promote the Vaishnavai cult Vaishnavite cult in the region. Its design has given rise to a popular belief that it was the inspiration behind the Indian Parliament building. Which of the statements given above are correct? So by now you have got to know that the Dream Temple is very important. Wherever in newspaper anyone visits any temple to news me I hai. In your Star Tech, jo aaj tak hai, you should be thorough with the temple architecture. So, Chaucer Yogini Temple, if you guys have read, that is a circular temple. Right? And from the name, it suggests Yogini is related to the Devi of Yoga and not Vaishnav cult. So, third statement is incorrect. Let's cut it. It is the only circular temple built in India. So, only is the mind alerting world. Kahi pe bhi only aata hai aapko. So, your mind should get more alert. Although, you have to be alert while doing the paper. If you are not alert, to toh phir issue hai. But, whenever you will find such words, toh aapka mind zyada active ho jana chahi. हाँ पहले तो बहुत ज़्यादा this was the trend कि only and all आता है तो question आपका गलत या सही होने की probability बढ़ जाती थी right but अभी वो you have to verify twice or thrice because UPSC has become smarter right so it is the only circular temple built in India no it is not the only we have Yogini temple uh, Chausat Yogini temple at Jabalpur also Morena के अलावा so second gone so first and fourth it, uh, it was the inspiration behind the Indian Parliament building. So, Chaucer Yogini Temple, Jabalpur, built by Kalachuris. century. Over Narmada. Between Duhandar Falls and the Marble Rocks, the main temple has Mandap in front. So, you have to uh, see. The key terms associated with temple architecture. One is Mandap and holds the murti of Shiv and Parvati on Nandi in the sanctum. Right? Next. Which of the following are famous for sun temples? Sun temples are the temples dedicated to uh, Suri Bhagwan. Travali Amarkata Omkarishwat. Now, to attempt this question, you guys. Apart from Sun Temple, you, sh you should also have the knowledge of the Jyotirling, which jo, uh, we used to study when we covered the static wala part. Right? If you guys know that these are the 12 Jyotirling, you guys will easily arrive at the correct option. So, here you can see, you have to memorize this basically. Somnath, Gujarat, Mahakaleshwar, Ujjain, <coughs> Om Kareshwar, MP, Malika Arjun, Andhpikish, Vajnath, Maharashtra, Vidarnath, Trakhan, Nageshwar, Gujarat, Trimbakeshwar, Maharashtra, Bhima Shankar, Maharashtra, Rameshwar, Tamil Nadu, Drineshwar, Maharashtra, Kashi Vishwanath, Uttar Pradesh. So, by this we have got to know that Omkarishwar is a Jyotirling and not a Sun Temple. So, by this we can eliminate the third one. 
So now this tells you that first Asravali is a Asravali is a sun temple. Yeah. So this is how the knowledge will help you to eliminate the options. Now let's study about the temples, whatever is given there in the options. Om Kareshwar. As we know, Naam se Om, Lord Shiva, Hindu pilgrimage site. One of the Jyotirling, right on the banks of river Narmada in MP. Now it dates back to Krita Yug. So if you know there are Char Yug, Satya Yug, Treta Yug, Dwapar Yug and Kali Yug, the one which is going on currently. So, the Satyug hai, that is also known as Krita Yug, which was the first one. So, the temple dates back to Krita Yug. River Narmada flows here in the form of Om. In this form, mein it flows. Right? Sun Temple, Modhera Sun Temple, very, very important. It is in Gujarat. Please write down whatever I am underlining River Pushpavati. It is associated with Modhera Sun Temple. Built after 1026-27 CE during the reign of Bhim I of Solanki dynasty. So it got the patronage of Solanki dynasty. It has three components. What are those? Buddha Manda, that is the main shrine, which we have to rakte hain. Sabha Manda. Jitne bhi worshippers hain, they used to gather, they used to assemble and then pray. Kund, the reservoir, the water body, right? Then there is numerous carving and all. But here, one point is that you will find wood carving tradition of Gujarat here. Clear? Okay. Sun Temple, Kunal. Here, the patronage was of Eastern Ganga ruler Narsimha Dev I in 1250 AD. Very important, this is known as Black Pagoda. Okay, now my question is write down that what is white pagoda? Just write down in the comment box, fata fata. What is known as white pagoda and why? Here it is called black pagoda, why? Because of its dark color. It was also used as navigational landmark by the sailors who used to come to Odisha. It is grand, hai, particular. Hai. Oriented towards the east. So, first ray, pehli kiran jo hoti hai, suri ki, it strikes the principal entrance. Built up of hondalite rocks. Next is Arsavali Sun Temple. It is in Andhra Pradesh. Patronage by King Devendra Verma, Kalinga dynasty. It takes in architectural skills of Vishwakarma Brahmins or Maharanas of Odisha. Next is what are the other sun temples in case as option mein aata hai, which of these yes or no sabka background pata hona is not important. Martand Sun Temple, which is in Jammu and Kashmir. Katarmal Sun Temple, Uttarakhand, Dakshinark, Bihar, Gaya, Brahmanya Temple, Unnao, Madhya Pradesh. Suri Praha Temple, Assam. Surinar Kovil Temple, Kumba Kunam in Tamil Nadu. Surinarayan Temple, Andhra Pradesh. Clear? Moving on. Amarkantak. It is located in the hills of Maikal in Anupur district of Madhya Pradesh. It is the meeting point of the hills of Vindya Satpura Medar. Acha, yaha pe hai kya? It is a place where Vindya Satpura range merges. So that disappears and Narmada and Son river get birth. Right. Nowadays UPSC is merging the subjects, geography and the history. So that's why you should know these things. It is commonly known as Tirthraj or the king of pilgrimage, Amarkanta. Next question. Building Kalyan Mandap was a notable feature in the temple construction, the kingdom of Chalukya, Chandela, Rashtkuta, Vijayanagar. Again, 
this again is of vijayanagar architecture very very important in fact we also covered this in temple architecture ultra important temple architecture so this is vijayanagar let's see hampi hampi it's a unesco world heritage site located near a town in karnataka tungabhadra river these are the key key words name derived from pampa that is the old name of tungabhadra river virupaksha temple iske liye hai lord virupaksha ke liye that is a form of lord shiva and here you will find a stone chariot in front of vijay vithal temple dedicated to garud and garud kya hai he uh, garud is the vehicle of lord vishnu next is kalyan mandap kalyan mandap uh, kalyan uh, mandap yeah you can say mandap is the hall kalyan is a term for the marriages there so it is used to celebrate the divine marriages in the uh, vijayanagar empire vijayanagar was founded by harihar bukkar earlier of sangam dynasty next is vijayanagar schools what are the features gopurams were there on all the sides more than one mandap was there jisme central wale ko kalyan mandap bolte the secular tha that was not dedicated to any particular religion right next question with reference to the cultural history of india consider the following statements white marble was used in making buland darwaza and khanka at fatehpur sikri red sandstone and marble were used in making bada imam bada in rumi darwaza at lucknow which of them are correct so now basically the question is from medieval art art and architecture and that also that covers delhi sultanate wala part and mughal architecture if you have if you guys have read about the features that who which ruler introduced what feature so you have got to know that bada imam bada and rumi darwaza which are at lucknow wahan pe sandstone and marble were not used it was brick brick and lime work was there so second is again wrong and yahan pe buland darwaza khan ka jo fatehpur sikri ka tha wahan pe you will find red sandstone more white marble se to just filling kai kai jagah kari hui thi that was not the major component so d neither one nor two Let's read about Buland Darwaza. Who built it? Akbar. And why to commemorate the victory over Gujarat? Gujarat jeet ke aaye the, to wahan pe Buland Darwaza. It is known as Buland. Naam se hi pata chal raha hai. Very bold, very magnificent. Gate of magnificence. Highest gateway in the world. Incorporates all the essential features of Akbar's architectural traditions. What are those? red sandstone stone carving and there were white marble inserted in between to give the beautification that was not the main component that was used for the construction inspired by timuri the architecture so we have already seen red and buff sandstone se bana hai decorated by white and black marble sheikh salim chishti khan ka is located near the present day world heritage site of fatehpur sikri next is bada imam bada who built it nawab asaf uddi uddola at lucknow why it was built the purpose was very noble to provide food to the famine stricken subjects of the nawab acha remember it has no pillars no pillars or beams that is a very unique feature and still such a big structure has been created during mohram uh, mohram shia muslim mon at the shrine it has large asafi mosque tomb of asafuddola and a temple it is the peak time when mughal 
is the constructions were ongoing here you will find brick and lime stucco ornamentation was there gajkari ka kaam bolte hain jise mother of pearl and shells deposited in the lake bay, uh, lake beds used in stucco ornamentation to give a fine shine finer than marble so here next is roomi darwaza here again nawab asafuddola also known as turkish gate gate tam se hi pata chal raha hai darwaza it's a gateway right and why it was called roomi gate because it was modeled after the gateways of then constantinople or modern istanbul isliye iska naam pada roomi gate it is in sync with the nawabi architecture material used is bricks and then lime clear so you don't have to memorize the all the stuff what is written over there you just have to write the keywords clear next sites of ashoka's major rock edicts so again see ashoka's rock edicts become important for you exam dholi odisha heragudi andhra pradesh jogada madhya pradesh kalsi karnataka how many pairs given above is or are correctly matched 1 2 3 and 4 okay so now if you have read this this is a uh, dholi we have just seen that dholi is associated with odisha eragudi is in andhra pradesh in fact i would tell you one thing that you should memorize all this stuff by locating them on the map that will help you to retain it for a longer period of time next is jogada jogada is not in mp but it is in odisha it's a sheer fact and kalsi is in uttarakhand okay so only two pairs are correct next is let me just do it yeah prime minister recently inaugurated the new circuit house near somana temple veraval which of the following statements are correct regarding somana temple So Somnath Temple is one of the Jyotirling. Description of Somnath was given by Al Biruni. Pran Pratishta of Somnath Temple, that is the what do you mean by Pran Pratishta? The installation of the temple was done by President S Radha Krishnan. So again, it is a factual thing, but we have just read Somnath is a Jyotirling, right? And it was, it is, it has been described by Al Biruni. Pran Pratishta was done by S Radha Krishnan. So all three are correct. Now we have seen Somnath is in Gujarat. It is believed to be the first among the twelve Jyotirling of Shiva. Described by Al Biruni, who was an Arab traveler, was so glowing that it prompted a visit in one zero two four by Mahmud of Ghazni. मीन्स होता है ना कोई बोल दे अरे ये जगह बहुत अच्छी है बहुत अच्छी है यू आल्सो गेट टेम्पटेड टू विजिट देयर द सेम गेट इंस्पायर्ड मेहमूद ऑफ गजनी टू विजिट देयर सो दैट्स व्हाई मतलब नेक्स्ट टाइम अ क्वेश्चन कैन बी देयर दैट मेहमूद ऑफ गजनी विजिटेड दिस टेंपल या हैज नेवर विजिटेड सोमनाथ दैट वे यू कैन डू इट रीकंस्ट्रक्टेड विद द रिजॉल्व ऑफ सरदार पटेल विजिटेड द रूइंस ऑफ सोमनाथ टेंपल इन 1947 The then president of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, did the Pran Pratishtha at the existing temple on 11th May 1951. The present Somnath Temple is reconstructed in the Maru Gurjara style. What do you mean by Maru Gurjara? Maru is Marusthal, the sukha wala area, and Gurjara is the Gujarat. So, dono ka style mil mix hua. It became Maru Gurjara style. Next question: the historical place and what it is. Burza Mo, rocket shrines, Chandra Ketu Gad, Terracotta Art, Ganeshwar Copper Art. See, here we are. Whenever uh, we study anything like Burza Mo, if you know, we have studied in Indus Valley Civilization, right? So Burza Mo is not known for any shrine. Shrine, so I here Gupta me hai. Chandra Ketu Gad. So if we cut one. so 3 is correct 
एंड चंद्र केतु गढ़ इज नोन फॉर टेरा कोटा आर्ट सो टू एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट बुरसा होम इट्स अथिक साइट सो इफ यू नो पैलियोलिथिक मीजोलिथिक नियोलिथिक पैलियो मीन्स वेरी वेरी ओल्ड मिडल एज मिडल स्टोन एज एंड दिस इज द न्यू स्टोन एज तो बुरजा होम इज द न्यू स्टोन एज वाला साइट पीपल बिल्ट पिट हाउसेज वॉट आर पिट हाउसेज मीन्स दिस ग्राउंड यहाँ पे यूज टू डग सम स्पेस स्टेप्स आर देयर एंड दे यूज टू रिसाइड हेयर नाउ हाउ यू गट टू नो दैट मच स्ट्रक्चर्स एमर्ज Neolithic men skilled hunters and their knowledge in applying the implements for cultivation because we know Neolithic ki time pe agriculture start ho gaya tha Next is Chandraketu gad fort of Chandraketu the city that never existed aisa bhi bolte hain yahan pe bahut sara terracotta artwork mila hai Ganeshwar Jodhpur aur Chalcolithic culture It was first discovered in the 1970s post the excavation at Jodhpur and Ganeshwar respectively यहाँ पे क्या है हमें कॉपर ऑब्जेक्ट्स मिले हैं राइट नेक्स्ट इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्कल्पचर इंस्क्रिप्शन इज रान्यो अशोका किंग अशोका मैंशन एक्चुअली एवरीवेयर द ओरिजिनल नेम ऑफ अशोका वॉज नॉट मैंशन राइट द नेम ऑफ अशोका दैट यूल फाइंड एट सेवरल प्लेसेज इज देव नाम पियादासी means the one who is the beloved of god so there were places there were only four places where the name of ashoka is mentioned and that is ranyo ashoka let me just kangana halli so kangana halli is in karnataka here you will find a slab jisme likha hai ranyo ashoka this was the first inscribed portrait of ashoka surrounded by female attendants and queens anad from the ruined buddhist stoop sanchi stoop maha stoop it was originally built by ashoka see ashoka ne banaya kisse brick se then it was destroyed by king matlab from the shunga dynasty pushyamitra shunga then it was enlarged to twice by agnimitra from the same dynasty the father destroyed it the son made it multi storied now you will find toran here what are torans i have already told you that that are gateways it is in whs next is shahbaz gadi these are the rock edicts right where peshawar northwest so they are written in mostly the edicts which are written in northwest are in kharoshti script why so that travelers can also understand that what the message the ruler is conveying <coughs> excuse me next is sohgola sohgola is a copper plate inscription where it is found it is found in gorakhpur up and here It, it it was from mauryan period and the inscription is in brahmi script it had a royal order that grain stored in the granary should be carefully distributed that means there was some famine like situation and because of that food has to be distributed very very carefully no wastage is allowed on the banks of river rapti छोटे छोटे फैक्ट्स हैं यू शुड मेमोराइज नेक्स्ट विद रेफरेंस टू बुद्धिस्ट हिस्ट्री ट्रेडिशन एंड कल्चर इन इंडिया कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स ताबू मोनास्ट्री एंड टेंपल कॉम्प्लेक्स अगेन टेंपल आर्किटेक्चर इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज इन स्पिति वैली लोथसावा लखांग टेंपल नाको गाजकर वैली अलची टेंपल कॉम्प्लेक्स लद्दाख कॉम्प्लेक्स तो ताबो मोनेस्ट्री इज इन स्पिति वैली वी ऑल नो लोथसावा इज नॉट इन जानसकर वैली इनफैक्ट इट इज इन द किन्नौर रीजन ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश अलची इज इन लद्दाख सोमान थ्री आर करेक्ट 
this is the factual information that you can get only by reading the content repeatedly no other shortcut is there tabo spiti valley hp right and it was founded in 996 ce in the tibetan year of the fire ape by the tibetan buddhist lotsawa rinchen zangpo on behalf of the king of western himalayan kingdom of gug yesho lotsawa lakhang kinor region of hp alchi monastery on the banks of indus river one of the most important buddhist centers in ladakh there are five shrines in the chosko temple complex and they have it is based on the theme is buddha right next is what are the common to the two historical places known as ajanta and mahabalipuram so ajanta and mahabalipuram both of these we have already studied now this is your time to give the answer and that too correct and confident right both were built in the same period same period timeline wala question i have told you the trick kaise karna hai if you don't know the exact timeline both belong to the same religious domination denomination both have rock cut monuments come on i'm giving you 5 seconds do it quickly see ajanta mahabalipuram what do you study before ajanta or mahabalipuram obviously ajanta rock cut caves came before right so same period to nahi ho sakta same religious denomination ajanta buddhism mahabalipuram हिंदुइज्म तो अगेन सेम नहीं हो सकता रॉकेट रॉकेट इट्स थ्री इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो दिस वे यू हैव टू रीच द करेक्ट ऑप्शन अजंता केव्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन महा बलीपुरम सप्त पगोड़ा डिसेंट ऑफ द गैंजेस डन शो टेंपल बिल्ट इन द रीन ऑफ नरसिम्हा वर्मन टू आल्सो नोन एज राजसिम्हा बिल्ट ऑफ कट स्टोन्स रादर देन कार्वड इट हैज टू श्राइन्स एक विष्णु लॉर्ड विष्णु की एंड वन इज लॉर्ड शिवाज श्राइन्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस थीम आर्किटेक्चर वाला दैट इज यू हैव टू मैच दीज प्लेसेस बोध गया बागेलखंड खजुराव बुंदेलखंड शेडी विदर्भ नासिक मालवा तिरुपति रायलसीम सी हेयर योर मैपिंग स्किल्स आर टेस्टेड अलॉन्ग विद द प्लेसेज इन न्यूज बोध गया वी ऑल नो दैट इट इज इन बिहार तो फर्स्ट वन इज इन करेक्ट कट इट दिस शोज दैट टू एंड फाइव आर करेक्ट खजुराव बुंदेलखंड तिरुपति रायल सीमा ना इफ यू गाइज नो कि शेडी वॉट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ शेडी एंड वॉट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ विदर्भा यूल फाइव दैट दे आर नॉट मैचिंग सो सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नॉट यू विल सी द एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन If you will see, Shady is in this place. Here, sorry, here is Shady. This red color dot. Let me just erase it. Yes, this is Shady. So here somewhere we have Shady, and the Vidarbha region is there. So that's why they are not matching. Another one is Nasik and Malwa. so here you will find nasik in this corner right and here there is malwa again they are not matching bodh gaya it's a holy landmark and pilgrimage destination linked with mahabodhi temple complex in gaya bihar gaya se to yahan se bhi you can remember it is the place where gautam buddha is claimed to have acquired enlightenment Bagelkand it's a region that covers the northeast uh, regions of MP and small area of western UP Khajuraho it is an MP got the patronage by the Chandel dynasty 
the building activity started almost immediately at the rise after the rise of their power who, whose power chandelas throughout their kingdom to be later known as bundelkhand the monuments include hindu and jain temples whs mein hain reported for the first time by abu rihan al baruni in 1022 ad and ibn batuta in 1335 ad clear vidarbha region that is the eastern region of maharashtra we have already seen on the map tirupati it is in rayal seema andhra pradesh where related to vaishnavism right it is located on the seventh peak venkatachala of the tirupati hill and lies on the southern banks of sri swami pushkarni so this is the geographical and the factual part that you should write down in your notes okay now the architecture wala part is done now we are moving towards whatever questions uh, are asked in these 9 years 15 questions from this topic we have discussed write the facts related to it anything that you find new in news related to these topics ya related to temple architecture cave architecture you can scribble them down in your fact wala note okay now moving on to the next topic and that is indian paintings okay so our next theme is uh, paintings right so <clears throat> that again shows that apart from architecture what we have to focus on that is paintings let's see the questions that have been asked the painting of bodhisattva padmapani is one of the most famous and of in illustrated paintings at see yahan pe bhi you will find that bodhisattva padmapani first of all you should know the term meaning of the term bodhisattva bodhisattvas are the people who have delayed their liberation so that they can help others to attain the same right padmapani is the lotus holder the one who is holding lotus in his hand and you also know that ajanta and bag both are related to buddhism you can get confused if you have not uh, not read but the correct answer is ajanta so from here also you can uh, have the idea that ajanta caves are very important not only from the architectural point of view <clears throat> but from paintings point of view also so let's talk about ajanta cave paintings now so we have already that where it is located what are its features outline is of red ochre we have already seen now let's see the prominent paintings <coughs> please note down padmapani vajrapani vajra is the weapon holder at cave number 1 mahajanak jataka i have already told you jatak stories are related to the life of buddha whatever uh, buddha see there's a art of conveying some people say it directly some people say it indirectly but the, but the i mean when buddha had to convey anything unhe kabhi kuch bhi batana hota tha to his disciples ki ye seekhna hai ye nahi then he used to tell those things through in the form of a story so they are called jatak stories kapi jatak 17 dying princess 16 mother and child at 17 ceiling decoration from cave number 17 pink elephant is also there in 17 then you have brahmanical figures like indra do you also find this such sort of paintings at ajanta then we have bag paintings bag and uh, what do we call ajanta you can correlate because they are very much similar right so it is an mp it is also known as rang mahal why because the painting here is done on wet base means wet fresco is there so colors are very bright alive till now next is alora so mural paintings that are found in alora caves is the kailash temple related to buddha's enlightenment actually in elora caves you will find all the three religions buddhism jainism and hinduism 
वाई बिकॉज इट हैज बीन गिवन पेट्रनेज बाय द ट्रेडर्स तो विद टाइम अलग अलग रिलीजन के ट्रेडर्स आते थे यहाँ पे एंड दे यूज टू डोनेट एंड अपना अपना रिलीजन प्रमोट करते थे विष्णु विद लक्ष्मी बोर्न टू द क्लाउड्स बाय गरुड लक्ष्मी शिवा अप्सरा वाइट ग्रीन ब्राउन कलर्स वर यूज बाय द पेंटर्स वोट लाइफ वॉज ऑल्सो शोन फेस्टिवल्स Then the important one is cave number टेन Vishwakarma cave carpenters cave भी बोलते हैं इसे why because यहाँ पे ना there are ऐसा look दिया हुआ है that it gives the appearance of a wooden beam wood carpentry का look देता है ये that's why it is known as Vishwakarma cave रावण की खाई again very important अच्छा इन विश्वकर्मा के बुद्धा इज सीटेड इन व्याख्या मुद्रा दैट ही इज एक्सप्लेनिंग समथिंग व्याख्यान कर रहे हैं किसी चीज का नेक्स्ट इज बदामी पेंटिंग्स केव नंबर वन ओल्डेस्ट है एक्चुअली इन बदामी यू हैव फोर केव्स राइट अगेन द नंबर ऑफ केव्स यू शुड नो सो दैट यू कैन अरेंज देम इन केस द क्वेश्चन कम्स नाउ ऑन द सीलिंग वी हैव लॉर्ड शिवा इज नटराज एंड शिवा एंड पार्वती विद द कोल्ड सरपेंट केव नंबर टू इज फॉर विष्णु वन इज फॉर शिवा हो गया थ्री इज फॉर इज बाय ब्रह्मनिकल फॉर्म्स तो अवतार हैं इसमें विष्णु के लाइक परा परा वासुदेव भूवराह हरिहार नरसिम्हा नरसिम्हा अवतार इफ यू गाइस हैव रेड द स्टोरी केव नंबर फोर इज ऑन जैन तो अगेन यू विल फाइंड हिंदुइज्म एंड जैनिज्म ओवर हेयर नेक्स्ट इज कलमकारी पेंटिंग आई होप यू गाइज मस्ट बी मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस बिकॉज ये बहुत न्यूज में रहता है हैंडी uh, प्रमोट करने के लिए टू प्रमोट द मतलब टू फॉर द वीमेन एम्पावरमेंट लोकलाइज की इनकम कैसे इम्प्रूव करें तो वहाँ पे इट इज देयर इन न्यूज अ हैंड पेंटेड वुमन टेक्सटाइल इन साउथ इंडिया हैंडमेड ड्राइंग ऑन बैम्बू हैंडी क्राफ्ट इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया ब्लॉक पेंटेड वुलन क्लोथ इन द वेस्टर्न हिमालय रीजन ऑफ इंडिया हैंड पेंटेड डेकोरेटिव सिल्क क्लॉथ इन नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया तो इफ यू गाइज एव रेड नो इट इज नॉट द सिल्क क्लॉथ इट इज नॉट द वुलन इट इज नॉट अ बेम्बू आर्ट इट इज अ कॉटन टेक्सटाइल पेंटिंग पेंटिंग दन ऑन कॉटन टेक्सटाइल सो ए इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन लेट्स रीड अबाउट कलमकारी इट बिलोंग्स टू द स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश साउथ इंडिया हेयर नेचुरल डाई इज यूज ऑन कॉटन एंड सिल्क फैब्रिक टू मेक द पेंटिंग वेरी यूनिक दे यूज डेट पाम विद पॉइंटेड एड टू मेक देयर ब्रश मीन्स दे आर यूजिंग कलर्स भी नेचुरल और ब्रश भी नेचुरल वेजिटेबल डाइज आर यूज अलॉन्ग विद मिनरल्स फॉर द कलर्स कला हस्ती एंड मसूली पटनम आर द टू मेन सेंटर्स यू हैव टू मेमोराइज दिस प्लीज नोट डाउन वॉट आर द टू मेन सेंटर्स ऑफ कलमकारी कला हस्ती एंड मसूली पटनम मछली पटनम भी यू विल फाइंड समवेयर हिंदू माइथोलॉजी एंड गॉड्स आर द मेन थीम्स वॉट दे यूज टू ड्रॉ वो है ना पेंटिंग कर रहे हैं तो कुछ ड्रॉ करेंगे वॉट इज द थीम दैट इज द हिंदू माइथोलॉजी दीज आर द थीम्स वेयर यू कैन गेट कन्फ्यूज जहाँ यू पी एस सी भी आपके साथ ऑप्शन ट्विस्ट कर सकता है नाउ इट इज ट्रांसफर्ड हेरिडिटरी दिस आर्ट इज ट्रांसफर्ड हेरिडिटरी एंड प्रैक्टिस मेनली बाय मेल मेंबर्स ऑफ द फैमिली क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज द वेल नोट पेंटिंग बनी ठनी बिलोंग्स टू विद स्कूल सो दिस ऑल्सो शोज यू दैट यू हैव टू कवर द रीजनल स्कूल एटलीस्ट मेन पेंटिंग्स और उनके फीचर्स आपको कवर करने ही हैं नो अदर ऑप्शन यू के नॉट स्किप तो द करेक्ट बुंदी जयपुर कांगड़ा किशनगढ़ द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन इज किशनगढ़ राइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट किशनगढ़ कहाँ का है ये एज द नेम सजेस्ट फ्रॉम किशनगढ़ वेयर इट इज लोकेटेड राजस्थान राइट एंड वाई इट इज डिस्टिंग बाय द फेशियल टाइप इट इसका इंटेंसिटी द रिलीजियस इंटेंसिटी इलांगेटेड स्टाइल आग्ड आईब्रोज लोटस आइड कमल नयन सी इफ यू फाइंड यहाँ पे दिस इज दिस वे द आईज आर गोइंग राइट सो लोटस आइड पॉइंटेड चिन हेयर यू कैन सी द पॉइंटेड चिन मोस्ट रोमांटिक लेजेंड्स ऑफ सावंत सिंह एंड बनी ठनी इस पे बहुत ही फेमस है बाई निहाल चंद द पेंटिंग इज बनी ठनी which is painted by nihal chand labeled as indian mona lisa the lady is compared this bani thani is compared to radha krishna ki radha wali radha se the beauty 
नेक्स्ट इज बुंदी स्कूल ऑफ पेंटिंग अगेन यू शुड नो द थीम द लाइफ ऑफ कृष्णा इज द मेजर थीम ब्राइट कलर्स आर यूज लाइक गोल्डन कलर क्रिम्स रेड हेयर यू विल फाइंड मुगल इन्फ्लुएंस ही मुगल इन्फ्लुएंस आपको मिलेगा रीजनल स्कूल में वाई बिकॉज दैट इज द मेन रीजन फॉर द क्रिएशन ऑफ रीजनल स्कूल जब उन्हें कोर्ट पेंटर्स को पेटरेज मिलनी बंद हो गई फंडिंग मिलनी बंद हो गई दे मूव फ्रॉम डेली वो मेन सेंटर से ही तो अपने रीजन में गए थे बीट पहाड़ी बीट राजस्थानी राइट तो दे वॉट एवर दे हैव लर्न इन द कोर्ट वो इन्फ्लुएंस तो आएगा ही आएगा तो यू विल फाइंड मुगल इन्फ्लुएंस हेयर नेचुरलिज्म इज देयर एंड द एग्जाम्पल इज भैरवी रागिनी प्लीज राइट इट भैरवी रागिनी इम्पॉर्टेंट राइट नेक्स्ट राजस्थानी स्कूल ऑफ पेंटिंग अगेन हेयर इट इज मुगल इन्फ्लुएंस रीजन आई हैव टोल्ड यू ये लिखने की जरूरत नहीं है आपके माइंड में क्लिक करना चाहिए कि रीजनल है तो मुगल इन्फ्लुएंस विल बी देयर राइट यू विल फाइंड द थीम से दी ऑफ ढोल मारू रूपमती बाज बहादुर बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल आर फुल ऑफ इमोशंस एंड फेमिनाइन ब्यूटी ऑफ हाईएस्ट ऑर्डर वाज पोर्ट्रेड हवेलीज ऑफ शेखावती फेमस फॉर देयर वॉल पेंटिंग राइट पेंटिंग इज मार्क्ड बाय बोल्ड ड्राइंग स्ट्रॉन्ग इन कंट्रास्टिंग कलर्स मुगल इन्फ्लुएंस सील एंड सीन इन रिफाइनिंग ऑफ ड्रॉइंग एंड सम एलिमेंट्स ऑफ नेचुरलिज्म पेपर आइवरी सिल्क वर यूज एज कैनवास अब क्या है रॉक की जरूरत नहीं थी इन द इनिशियल पीरियड व्हेन पेंटिंग इमर्ज तो पहले रॉक था देन इट वाज वॉल फ्रेस्को पेंटिंग हुई देन वी हैव प्रॉपर कैनवास कांगड़ा व्हाट इज द यूनिक फीचर्स द डेलिकेसी ऑफ ड्राइंग देन फोकस ऑन नेचुरलिज्म राइट सिरेनिक ब्यूटी डिलीनिएशन डिलीनिएशन ऑफ द फीमेल फेसेस Themes you should memorize. Please memorize. Bhagavat Puran, Hinduism is there. Geet Govinda, Nala Damayanti, Bihari Satsai, Ragmala and Bara Masa. Clear? You should memorize this. So that completes our chapter number two. That is paintings. Now we will proceed towards our third chapter. Let's see. Okay. So the next theme is. Indian music, dance and theater. So in this also we'll see the topic is total factual. Initially I am telling you, but it trick. I mean, as we know, that UPSC is asking. So we have to put in efforts. And that's here comes the questions. What type of question? How many factual are they going to UPSC? So at that level you have to revise the things, right? so the first question is with reference to the cultural history of india consider the following statements most of the tyagraj kritis are devotional songs in praise of lord krishna tyagraj is a very famous one in music wala part so you must have read about tyagraj that is the understanding of upsc that's why it is asking in such a detail ki kaun se bhagwan ke bare mein the compositions are there Tyagraj created several new ragas. It's a very generic statement. कि हाँ बनाई होंगी. Annamacharya and Tyagraja are contemporaries. Annamacharya Kirtanas are devotional songs in praise of Venkateshwar. ठीक है. So again, this person personality is also very famous. So if you guys have read that Tyagraj used to write songs in praise of Lord Rama, not of Krishna. so you can cut first option right now we have with 2 3 2 and 4 and 2 3 4 so that means 2 and 4 are automatically correct this statement i have already told you that it is a quite generic statement ki music industry se related a very respectful person rag banayi hogi anamacharya wrote in praise of lord venkateshwar but they were not contemporaries so b2 and 4 are is the correct option let's read about tyagraj those who have not uh, read about in their static part so just uh, write down the key points he was born on 15th b 1767 or ye anamacharya was a 15th century saint right so he was from uh, a village in tamil nadu 
He was the composer of Carnatic music. So we have two categories of music: Hindustani music and Carnatic music. Hindustani music होता है North India का, in South India का we have Carnatic music. He has composed thousands of devotional composition. Mostly they are in Telugu, in praise of Lord Ram. He saw the reigns of four kings of Maharashtra Maratha dynasty. So here. You can expect a question contemporary wala thing. So you should know what are those four kings. Tolaja, two, Amar Simha, Sarfozi two, and Shivaji two. But he served none of them. Remember, contemporary the, but not serving them. He took music training from Santi Venkata Ramanya. Santi Venkata Ramanya, yahan se training hui. In his praise and honor of Lord Rama, he wrote numerous musical operas and created several new ragas. Clear? So whatever I have marked in red, please note down. Okay? Because architecture, फिर हम पढ़ते हैं. We neglect the small topics like music, painting, theater. तो यहाँ पे you have to focus upon. Annamacharya, <coughs> 15th century Hindu saint. earliest known indian musician to compose songs called sankirtan inhone banaya sankirt inhone likhe sankirtan in praise of lord venkateshwar who is a form of lord vishnu he was born in tallapakka it's a village in andhra pradesh and he is believed to have been the avatar of nandak the sword of vishnu again very very important these things matlab you don't know by default there are certain things generic things jo aapko by default pata hai ya aap guess kar sakte ho but itna factual nobody can guess next question chapchor kut festival mizoram khongjam parba bale manipur thangta dance manipur thangta very very famous you know it is not from sikkim it's from manipur so one and two are correct right it's a again factual question you will find see now you have got ki this sort of question can be asked in upsc you can refer sunya ki prelims ka factual wali book static book so wahan pe these things are given in tabular form from where you can revise the content before giving the exam do din pehle teen din pehle aap use multiple times padoge it will become very easy to uh, recall these facts in the exam okay so khongjam parva bale मणिपुर का है राइट right. इसमें यू हैव ढोलक एंड ड्रम व्हेन द सिंगिंग इज डन तो ढोलक एंड ड्रम यूज होता है राइट इट डिपिक्स द स्टोरीज ऑफ द हीरोइक बैटल ऑफ खोंगजोम तो यहां पे किसकी बात हो रही है खोंगजोम बैटल ऑफ खोंगजोम इज डिपिक्टेड व्हिच वाज फॉर्ड बाय द पीपल ऑफ मणिपुर अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिश एंपायर इन अप्रैल 1891 so this as a fact as a statement you can get anywhere next is chapchar kot manipur it's a harvest festival and it is named after the bamboo jise cut kiya jata hai and is drying for burning and subsequent cultivation harvest festival hai jisko kata jata hai that is the bamboo usi ke naam pe is festival ka naam rakh diya hai bamboo dance is performed by the women called chero which is the main feature of the festival you can remember but just write down the key terms thangta thangta dance i think this is very very popular that is a martial art form known as huyen lelong swords and spears are primarily used here sarit sadak is the new weaponless version of thangta <coughs> remember sarit sadak it is practiced in three different ways first is ritualistic plus tantric right secondly mesmerizing performance of sword and sword dance dances and the actual technique of fighting check okay? it next consider the following pairs again again a factual thing but if you guys are in the habit of reading gk hai to usse aapko iska idea mil jayega right to garba is from gujarat we know mohini attam from odisha no yakshagan is from karnataka yes so c1 and 3 are the correct option very, very simple question because itna hum basic padh ke jate hain 
So Garba from Gujarat. Garba is very famous. We seen movies and all. So इससे याद रहता है. Otherwise, you can remember it by G G initials. Traditionally, it is performed during the nine-day Hindu festival that is Navratri, right? So you must have gone into Garba nights and all. So वो कब होती हैं? Navratri time पे. Either the lamp, the Garba deep, that women used to keep on the head, or the image of the goddess Durga is placed in the middle of the ring, and the people dance around the center. So this is how. That Garba night is celebrated. Mohini Attam is from Kerala, also known as Nam Se Mohini. Mohini means attractiveness, enchantness. Why it is named as Mohini Attam? Because Lord Krishna took the uh, took uh, the avatar of Mohini. वो एक फीमेल बने थे to attract Asur. सो दैट उनका ध्यान उनकी अट्रैक्टिवनेस की तरफ चला जाए जो अमृत आया है समुद्र मंथन में से वो देवता ले ले राइट सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज नोन एज डांस ऑफ एंचांट्रेस मोहिनी अत मोहिनी मींस अट्रैक्टिंग समबडी नंगाई नाटकम दसी अतम तेवित्ती चियतम इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर्स सोलो होता है व्हाई इट इज सोलो इसको आप सिंपल लॉर्ड विष्णु से कोरिलेट कर सकते हो लॉर्ड विष्णु took the form of a female very beautiful female mohini why mohini because it attracted everybody and what was the purpose so that amrit goes to devta and this amrit wala part the impure wala part goes to asur wala sect that's why wo amar na ho right this event took place After Samudra Manthan, this is the background story which will help you to remember its feature. कि solo है क्योंकि Vishnu ji solo अकेले perform किया था उन्होंने ये dance by women क्योंकि उन्होंने female का रूप लिया था right feminine moods feminine expressions रहेंगे importance is given to the hand gestures and मुख अभिनय means facial expressions. With subtle facial expressions, lascivious style. Okay, lasc is the feminine aspect, and it also resembles the waves of the sea. Basically, graceful features they are get showing in this, focusing on this. So, if you remember this story, so you can easily mark it. Next is musical instruments used: cymbals, veena, dulcimer, and so on. Next is musical instruments used: cymbals, veena, dulcimer, rudangam, drum, flute, etc. Right, costume important white and off white color with gold brocade. Silk is used, and famous proponents are Gopika Verma, Sunanda Nayar, Jaya Prabha Menon, and Sunanda Nayar. Uh, I think this is repeated, so it is there. Yakshgan from Karnataka. So dance music basically when theater is happening, na, so dance music everything gets combined drama there. So here the story is of Draupadi Swayamvar. If you guys have uh, seen Mahabharat, so you must be knowing the story. Abhimanyu Vad, again Mahabharata. Karn Arjun Yud, Mahabharata. So it's very popular here. It continues through night till sunrise. And artists are Siddha Kate, Chinappa Shetty, Chitani Ramachandra Hedge. नरनप्पा उपूर बलिपा नारा नारायणा भागवत एंड कलिंगा नवादा तो अगेन दिस इज फैक्चुअल दो तीन बार पढ़ोगे यू विल गेट एन आइडिया एटलीस्ट आप सही गलत का आइडेंटिफाई कर लोगे विन द क्वेश्चन एंड द आंसर इज फ्रंट ऑफ योर आईज नेक्स्ट विद रेफरेंस टू मणिपुरी संकीर्तन कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इट्स अ सॉन्ग एंड डांस परफॉर्मेंस Symbols are the only musical instruments used in the performance. It's performed to narrate the life and deeds of Lord Krishna. So here we can see one line: symbols are the only musical instrument. Again, our mind should get more alert. So only let's eliminate it because these are not the only flute and all be used. होता है यहाँ पे. Now, it's a song and dance. Yes, performed to narrate the life and deeds of Lord Krishna. Yes. 
सो इट्स अ क्लासिकल डांस मणिपुर का है राइट सेंट्रल थीम इज द लव स्टोरी ऑफ कृष्ण एंड राधा बोथ तांडव एंड लास्ट से आर यूज लेट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू द मैस्कुलिन फीचर्स वेन दे आर रिप्रेजेंटेड दैट इज नोन एज तांडव तांडव को एसोसिएट किया जाता है लॉर्ड शिवा से वेन शिवा गॉट एंग्री एंड ही डांस्ड दैट डांस वॉज नोन एज तांडव उनको शांत करने के लिए टू पैसिफाई है ग्रेसफुल डांस पीसफुल डांस वॉज फॉर्म बाय गॉड एज पार्वती दैट वॉज नोन एज लास्ट से राइट नागबंध मुद्रा मीन्स रिमेंबर दिस मुद्रा द बॉडी गेट्स कर्ड इन द शेप ऑफ एट फोकस इज ऑन डिवोशन राधर देन सेंशुअलिटी रास लीला संकीर्तन एंड थांगता दीज आर द प्रॉपुलर थीम्स सॉन्ग्स आर संग इन ब्रज बोली ओल्ड बेंगोली मैथिली संस्कृत ब्रज एंड नाउ इन मणिपुरी लैंग्वेज and written by famous poets like Chand chandidas vidyapati gyandas jaydev and others okay <clears throat> performed thrice in autumn from august to november sometimes around march and april all on full moon night now what are the instrument use pung cymbal kartal harmonium flute pena sembong right and who are the famous personalities javeri sisters and you should remember naina ranjana suvarna and darshana bimbavati devi guru bipin javeri sisters remember naam nahi aata rehta to bhi remember this javeri sisters ki associated with sankirtan with reference to the famous satraya dance now chalo we'll read the story uh, later on pehle we'll read the question Satraya is a combination of music, dance, and drama. It's a centuries-old living tradition of Vaishnavites of Assam. It is based on classical ragas and talas of devotional songs composed by Tulsi Das, Kabir, and Meera Bai. So, if you guys know, ki what is Satraya? Satraya actually comes from Satras, Math. Vaishnavite Math hote the. वेयर यू कैन से भक्ति टू डांस तो वहां से ये डांस बना सतरिया डांस सो हेयर इट इज नॉट बेस्ड ऑन द तुलसीदास कबीर एंड मीराबाई इट इज प्रमोटेड बाय शंकराचार्य तो थर्ड यू कैन एलिमिनेट एंड इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ म्यूजिक डांस ड्रामा सब कर लेते हैं एंड वैष्णवाइट्स ऑफ आसाम से रिलेटेड है ये सो वन एंड टू आर करेक्ट लेट्स रीड अबाउट सतरिया डांस ऑफ आसाम सो it was made popular by shankara dev to propagate vaishnavism and how it got its name satraya i have already told you by the math monasteries satras jahan pe these uh, saints used to live wahin pe wo apna bhajan kirtan karte the they itne wo magan ho jate the they got so much engrossed in that bhakti that they start dance that is satraya what is the feature it was introduced by combining different elements from local folk dances kon kon se oja palli and devdasi who are devdasi these are the females who are married to the deities then they strictly live in uh, that uh, temple only it is governed by strictly laid down principles so the principles are strict for the dance like what should be the hast mudra hast mudra means haath ka movement kaisa hoga footwork aharyas music etc performed by male monks known as bhokots so i have already told you ki ti mein hota tha ye to male monks were there story of krishna radha or ram sita sometimes ram sita mainly radha krishna two cat categories are there or rashik bhangi jo masculine style hai and the next one is stree bhanging stree means female so it is the feminine style now majuli island which is in uh, assam is associated with this i hope you guys have heard about this island in your environment also right songs are compositions of shankara dev and those songs are known as bor geet just write down the keywords one one word instruments khol bahi violin tanpura harmonium etc 
पर्सनैलिटीज मदर डॉटर डूओ रिमेंबर दिस इंदिरा पी पी बोरा एंड मेन का पी पी बोरा मदर डूओ डॉटर कहाँ पे मिलती है सो हेयर यू कैन फाइंड इन सतरैया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज द कम्युनिटी ऑफ पीपल कॉल्ड मंगन यार्ड इज वेल नोन फॉर देयर मार्शल आर्ट्स इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया म्यूजिक ट्रेडिशन इन नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया क्लासिकल वोकल म्यूजिक इन साउथ इंडिया पीत्रा ड्यूरा ट्रेडिशन इन सेंट्रल इंडिया सी मंगन इन यार्ड्स इफ यू हैव रेड एक्चुअली इन सुनिया का बुकलेट इट इज गिवन लाइक दिस कम्युनिटी एंड द रीजन so there only one word is mentioned manganiyar and rajasthan nowhere else you will find ki ye mentioned hai now how you are going to attempt this question with this information rajasthan is located where north east no south india no central india no it is in north west india so now we have got to know that it is a musical tradition in north west india manganiyars so this is how you have to apply your knowledge whatever is there in your facts so manganiyars they are the muslim communities now what is your task after doing this <coughs> you should write the extra information rajasthan to we were already aware of but whatever there the information is there after coming of the question wo apne paas nahi thi now we are adding this that is in the bamar and jaisalmer district of rajasthan and pakistan tharparkar and sankar district in sindh and patronage was given by hindu yajman to so remember although they are the muslim communities but they were given patronage by hindu yajman so here you can show the unity they are patronized by the bharti rajputs who are the hindu yajman rajputs they sing for their hindu, hindu yajman on holi diwali or special occasions like weddings theek hai religion and philosophy theek hai jaisa abhi humne starting mein kiya tha that architecture is ultra important the same way this chapter religion and philosophy is ultra important i would put 5 star on it theek hai this is a very small topic but you can definitely expect a question from this topic fine so let's start with this topic then we will uh, discuss basically uh, what this topic is all about here we have see uh, let me just give you a small brief so that aapko idea ho jayega that what is there in this topic we are not going into detail study because this is a just a pyq discussion <coughs> actually whenever you have a question and you want some answer to that so there are certain schools which come for that suppose you have to prepare for upsc now you have to know the syllabus the how you have to cover the topics and what is important for the exam what is not there are several schools for that like coaching institutes for that the same way at that time uh, there was a quest for truth and there, when there was quest for truth multiple schools came इन टू पिक्चर कि वॉट टू डू नाउ तो टू कैटेगरीज ऑफ स्कूल वर ऑर्थोडॉक्स मीन्स आस्थिक एंड अनदर वन इज अनऑर्थोडॉक्स दैट इज नास्तिक दीज पीपल बिलीव्ड इन गॉड वेदास एंड दे डिड नॉट बिलीव इन वेदास ठीक है इन्होंने कहा वेदास आर नॉट इनफॉलेबल वेदास में भी फॉल्ट है ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट देर आर सिक्स स्कूल्स ऑफ ऑर्थोडॉक्स स्कूल्स एंड बुद्धिज्म जैनिज्म दीज ऑल कम इन नास्तिक स्कूल्स राइट नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन विद रेफरेंस टू द कल्चरल हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द टर्म परामिताज तो हेयर द question is based upon the theme terminology so just scribble down wherever you are noting ki terminologies are very important the earliest dharma shastra text written in aphorist aphoristic sutra style philosophical schools that did not accept the authority of the vedas factions whose attainment led to the bodhi satva path 
powerful merchant guilds of early medieval south india actually if you guys have studied that paramitas is a term related to buddhism and buddhism say the paramitas are the people are the perfections whose attain the bodhi tattva okay they, they are not tech they are not school they are not merchants okay they are the perfections so let's read about buddhism very very important scribble down whatever i am underlining buddhism founded by gautam buddha i know you will feel that these are obvious things itna to ma'am hame pata hi hai i know you guys know but still likh lo to because it will revise kai bar hota hai basic cheez bhi bhul jate hain exam mein born at lumbini 563 bc and what was the cause of origin because in the society there was so much sorrow people were not happy with the rituals priestly rituals because they were compelling they were creating hierarchy in the society they were excluding a certain class of people so because of the expensive and complicated vedic rituals rigid caste system now vaishyas wanted to improve their positions because of the increase in trade and commerce you know whoever controls economy will eventually control polity right so earlier kings were uh, more powerful they had more resources but with commerce and trade the trading community vaishyas became important and that's why they want to rule they want to improve their position in the society now it did not accept the authority of vedas means nastik school they opposed rituals sacrifices ceremonies basically that is the basis of creation of buddhism of popularity of buddhism they wanted the path of moderation because why i am uh, underlining or yeah, circling moderation because when you study jainism they will follow extreme path and that is not possible for any one to do like if somebody says you daily study 15 to 18 hours you won't be able to continue in the long run ha ek din do din ek hafta ek mahina bhi kar loge but eventually you will fall sick aapki health deteriorate ho your mind will get diverted aapki jo efficiency hai that will reduce so extreme extremism is not good they were against extremism now theory of karma it is an essential element of buddhist philosophy whatever whatever you will do aapko usi ka result milega emphasis on the efficacy of gyan marg path of knowledge means aisa nahi aap rituals karoge to aapko uh, nirvan ki prapti hogi no whatever gyan whatever knowledge you acquire that will lead to your salvation and what is the ultimate goal of life nirvan believed in pratyatya samutpada means one state of life leads to the next state tabhi kehte hain the theory of karma whatever you will do in this life you will eventually get in this and as well as in your next life rejected the idea of soul and transmigration ha atma wala inhone concept reject kiya tha see write down these points because these can be confusing ki ha wo agar one state of life leads to the next state isme believe karte hain to people feel that transmigration of soul mein bhi wo believe karenge but it is not the truth buddha neither rejected nor accepted the existence of god means he was silent on the god emphasis on non violence allowed eating non vegetarian food provided animal not killed for that purpose and he put forward a new varna system Kshat where kshatriyas were given higher status than the brahmanas ab yahan pe brahmanas were put top in the hierarchy when we study the societal system chatur varna system to top pe brahmana then kshatriya then vaishyas then shudras now buddhism reversed this position they put kshatriyas at the top and brahmanas at the second number that's why kings were also very happy with buddhism that's why they were given donations paramitas it means perfection in bodhi sattva tradition the accomplishment of these perfection results in the achievement of ultimate perfection of 
विजडम परफेक्शन ऑफ वॉट विजडम और एनलाइटनमेंट अच्छा नाउ दिस बोधि सत्व टर्म यू विल फाइंड ओनली इन महायान बुद्धिज्म नॉट इन ही नियान दिस कैन बी अ स्टेटमेंट दैट कैन कन्फ्यूज यू इन द एग्जाम्स एंड हाउ दैट बोधि सत्व गेट्स सिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ पारामिटाज आर देर वन इज दान दान मीन्स यू आर गिविंग समथिंग नेक्स्ट इज सिला मीन्स यू आर नॉट हार्मिंग रिफ्रेनिंग फ्रॉम हार्म थर्ड इज शांति वॉट इज शांति यू आर नॉट perturbed by anything fourth virya virya means virtuous positive or wholesome next is dhyan what do you mean by dhyan itni zyada strong meditation mein ho you are not disturbed by anyone last one is prajna the perfect discrimination of phenomena what is happening what is not happening what is what is truth what is false right next question with reference to the cultural history of india the memorizing of chronicles dynastic histories and epic tales was the profession of who of the following shraman parivrajak agraharika and magad now supposingly even if you don't know the exact answer but these terms we study when we do buddhism so shraman means the seeker one who is finding something parivrajak is the wanderer the one who has left his home and is wandering agraharika the one it's an ancient history term जो लैंड का ध्यान रखता है द वन हु टेक्स केयर ऑफ द लैंड नाउ विल एनी सीकर बी कंसर्न अबाउट मेमोराइजिंग ऑफ क्रॉनिकल्स एंड हिस्ट्री नो वॉन्डर आर नो उसे क्या लेना देना वेन ही हेज लेफ्ट इवन इज होम वो डेट्स एंड हिस्ट्रीज याद करके क्या ही करेगा अग्रहारिका ही इज वर्किंग ऑन द लैंड वाइट वॉट टू डू विद क्रॉनिकल्स एंड हिस्ट्रीज ऑफ द पीपल सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज magad so this way you can also arrive at the answer if you know the other three option so divrajak wanderer shraman <coughs> seeker means ascetic Bra brahman wala life upasika see upasak is the male one who is follower of buddhism and upasika is the female follower of buddhism but they are followers of buddhism now we have bodhi sattvas in mahayan buddhism so who is there in hinayan buddhism we have arhat arhat are the hinayan monks and bodhi sattva sattvas have delayed their liberation why so that they can help others to attain the liberation but arhat monks have been described as selfish monks because they are just working for themselves they are not helping anyone else achieve their goals wo apni hi nirvana attain karna chahte hain what is nirvana the state of supreme bliss means you are not concerned of anything aapko koi bhi cheez distract nahi kar sakti hai shil it refers to when a person leaves home a person any person leaves home, to live the life of buddhist the person renounce uh, renounce among the communities of bikkhus bikkhus and bikunis are the people who do not uh, <clears throat> have anything they do not possess anything or daily uh, they used to visit the homes and whatever they get as bhiksha wo wo hi consume karte the upa sampada it is a ritual of ascetic wetting isme kya hota hai the there is a checking like we have test in upsc na ki whether the prelims what is there that the person has aptitude or not to be seated in this exam even so wahan pe kya hai checking ho rahi hai the same way upa sampada is the checking ki candidate jo aaya hai to become the monk or nun is he eligible even or not 
right that term is known as upa sampada basta actually uh, i told you told you ki bikus and bikunis kya karte hain they used to roam around and uh, whatever they get as bhiksha at the end of the day they consume right but during the rainy season three months they relax at the caves viharas and they don't go idhar udhar okay that term is known as vassa next is uposhtha that it is the day of observance what do you mean by day of observance means whatever sins you have committed you have to confess those in front of everybody to usse kya hota hai jab sabko pata chalta hai jaise log apni uh, achievements whatever good deeds they have done wo to sabko batate hain but whatever bad they do ya paap unhone kuch kar diya galti kar di kuch they try to hide it from everybody तो यहाँ पे वो बुद्धिज्म क्या सिखाता है दैट यू शुड हैव द करेज टू एक्सेप्ट इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरीवन, ठीक है उससे क्या होगा आप फ्यूचर में रिपीट नहीं करोगे वो गलती उपासक वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस हु इज उपासक एंड उपासिका नेक्स्ट इज अग्रहारिका मीन्स हु लुक्ड आफ्टर द लैंड राइट द लैंड दैट इज गिवन इन चैरिटी लास्ट वन इज मागध ड्यूरिंग गुप्ता पीरियड they used to memorize chronicles histories epic tales right next question consider the following deification of the buddha treading the path of bodhisattvas image worship and rituals which of the above is or are the feature or the features of mahayana buddhism see we have already discussed the two branches of buddhism hinayana and mahayan hinayan was the one where no image worship is done buddha uh, the buddha was worshiped in the form of symbols and here he is worshiped in the form of image idol worship started so now deification of the buddha means murti bana dena buddha ki so is it the feature of mahayan yes I have already told you Bodhi Satwas are present in Mahayan, right? And Arhat are present in Hinayan. So treading the path of Bodhi Satwas, correct? Image worship, correct? So all three D is the correct option. Let's read about Mahayan Buddhism. Maha, you can rem uh, uh, remember like this. Maha means Mahan, great. So they are considered to be greater vehicle and hinayan buddhism means the lesser hin hai jo they have two philosophical schools remember this is important madhyamika and yogachara and mahayan considers buddha as god and that's why they created idols of buddha and bodhisattvas they say that salvation can be attained by means of faith and devotion to the mindfulness of buddha you have to devote yourself to buddha because they considered buddha as god believes in idol worship of buddha already noted and bodhisattvas these schools you can find in china korea tibet japan next is hinayan Hinayan were the original teachings of Buddha, or you can say, doctrine of elders, and they did not believe in idol worship. Now here they were helping others, Odi Sattva wala concept, and here they were attaining salvation through self-discipline and meditation. They are written in Pali language, <coughs> patronized by Ashoka. monks were known as arhat here you can note down bodhi sattvas were there they did not accept gift of gold and silver because they say ki what we will do of this thing we are not societal people we have left the home we have become wanderer we have become seeker right this school is present in nepal tibet and nearby countries next is theravada it is the most 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 ancient branch and original branch of buddhism 
right so it it is closest to the original teachings it developed in sri lanka and then it is spread to rest of the southeast asia it is dominant in cambodia laos myanmar sri lanka thailand here everyone whoever opt for this they try to uh, become arhat and gain freedom from the cycle of samsara samsara is the cycle of life and death next is vajrayan school vajrayan ko aap yaad rakh sakte ho tantrik school se right so that is the the it means vehicle of the thunderbolt or you can known as tantric buddhism yahan pe मैजिक स्पेल्स एंड ऑल का ज्यादा यूज है इट केम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस ड्यूरिंग द मेडाइवल एज एंड दे से दैट अ पर्सन कुड अचीव निर्वाना इन अ सिंगल लाइट साइकिल ऑफ लाइफ एंड डेथ का उतना मेहनत नहीं करने की जरूरत है यू कैन गेट निर्वाना इन वन लाइफ ओनली इट इज पॉपुलर इन टिबेट इट इज टेकन फ्रॉम इंडिया इन टू टिबेट बाय पद्म संभव गुरु रिनपोचे where symbolism is there rites are there tantric practices yagya havan magic spells they, that all is prevalent there okay last one is zen school it is a branch of mahayana buddhism which originated in china during the tang dynasty then it went to japan here the key word is meditation that is there noted okay Now, with reference to the religious history of India, consider the following statements: Thavir Vadin belonged to Mahayan Buddhism. Lokottara Vadin sect was an offshoot of Mahasanghika sect of Buddhism. Deification of Buddha by Mahasanghika fostered Mahayan Buddhism. Acha, now we know that Mahasanghika is a branch of Mahayan, and वहाँ पे there is deification means third option is correct. now we have to check on 2 and 1 if you have read sthavir vadin belongs to hinian old school theravada sect or you can say hinian sect old school so first statement is incorrect and lokottara vadin is an offshoot of mahasanghika so b is the correct option now let's because the question is on sects of buddhism so we have to know the sects of buddhism so sects of buddhism first of all there was only one religion that is buddhism ladai hui then it got divided kyun hui because of the breach of the rules there were two groups one is from the east another is from the west they both opposed the rules and finally in the second buddhist council east and west got split ईस्ट वाले वर कॉल्ड महासंघिका वेस्ट वाले वर नोन एज स्थावर वादिन महासंघिका वैशाली सदर्न इंडिया लाइक अमरावती एंड नागार्जुन कोंडा तो यू शुड नो द सेंटर्स रिटर्न इन प्राकृत बिलीव इन प्लूरलिटी ऑफ बुद्धास is there are many avatars of buddha plurality of buddha means avatar of buddha who are super mundane what do you mean by super mundane that they are supra best right and held that what passed for gautam buddha in his earthly existence was only a apparition means unka ye avatar tha he that was not a reality he can appear any time wo vehem tha logo ka is tarah se they used to say that it is an apparition and then they further divided into eight subsects mahasanghika again had eight subsects see guys i'm just telling you the names ek bar aankhon ke samne se nikla hoga to kya hoga you ha you'll have an idea you can at least eliminate the option iske detail mein there's no need to go ki what are the features of this and that i know history optional people must be knowing this uh if you guys know to i would like to say ki ek ek line for each subject you can write in the comment box okay so that everybody gets to know that what is the key feature of each subject so the name is ekavya harika 
प्रश्नापतिवाद उत्तरा साइला बहुश्रुतिया कौकुतिका चैत्याका लोकोत्तरा वादिन अपरा साइला नेक्स्ट वन इज स्थावर वादिन दे आर थेरा वादिन अगेन डिवाइडेड इनटू इलेवन सेक्ट्स अगेन आई वुड से जीएस पीपल डोंट गो इनटू द ऑप्शनल पीपल डू स्टडी अबाउट दिस शर्वस्तिवादिन हेमवता महिषसक धर्मोत्तरा भद्रयानिया धर्मगुप्त का कस्यापिया समतिया नाउ शर्वस्तिवादिन दिस इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ लाइफ वर नॉट ओनली होली मोमेंटरी सम एग्जिस्टेड फॉर एवर एंड लिव इन फॉर दे यूज टू से कि कुछ चीजें ऐसी होती है एवरीथिंग इज नॉट मोमेंटरी सम थिंग्स एग्जिस्ट फॉर एवर हमेशा परमानेंट रहती है ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विद रेफरेंस टू द रिलीजियस हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बोधि सत्वा इज सेंट्रल टू द ही नियान सेक्ट ऑफ बुद्धिज्म गाइज अब तो यू गाइज मस्ट बी नोइंग कि ये वाला स्टेटमेंट तो है रॉन्ग क्योंकि ही बोधि सत्वा वी हैव ऑन लूप सेड दैट बोधि सत्वा बिलोंग्स टू महायान Bodhi Sattva is a compassionate one who is on his way to enlightenment. Yes, he has not attained enlightenment. He has delayed his enlightenment for others. He delays his achieving his own salvation to help all sentient beings on their path to it. Right. So see the repetition of the questions related to Buddhism. So which of them are correct? Two and three. <coughs> Bodhi Sattva. Central to Mahayan sect, compassionate being, a living being who carries out altruistic practices means compassionate practices. Next, with reference to Indian history, who among the following is a future Buddha yet to come to save the world? See, uh, there there is a sect that believes that Buddha के कई अवतार होंगे या कई हो भी चुके हैं काफी, right? So फ्यूचर बुद्धा वेन वील स्टडी द डिफरेंट अवतार जो बुद्धा तो यहाँ पे द फ्यूचर बुद्धा इज मैत्री लेट अवलोकित ईश्वर आई होप यू गाइज है रेड दिस टर्म हर्ड दिस टर्म पद्म पानी अभी हमने क्लास में भी थोड़ी देर पहले डिस्कस किया था तो अवलोकित ईश्वर इज द वन यूल फाइंड इन अजंता केव्स नोन एज पद्म पानी देर आर थ्री डिटीज who protect gautam buddha one of them is avlokiteshwar karan the view is a mahayan text which glorify avlokiteshwar he appears in formally in cambodian theravad buddhism okay he is a compassionate bodhisattva who listens to the world's pleas and responds in skillful ways clear yeah? Next, Maitreya is regarded as future Buddha. In some Buddhist literature, such as Amitabha Sutra and Lotus Sutra, he is referred to as Ajit Bodhi Sattva. Remember this name. Some maybe you will see in the options next time. In, in, instead of giving Maitreya, he can give you. It can give you Ajit Bodhi Sattva. So don't get confused. They are synonymous. And Maitreya is. Uh, Laughing Buddha is considered as an incarnation of Maitreya. So he is a future Buddha. According to the scriptures, Maitreya will be successor to the present Buddha, uh, that is Gautam Buddha, Shakya Muni Buddha. Now, when he will come? Future, future, कर रहे हैं. So when that Buddha will come? He'll come when dharma will have been forgotten by most of the terrestrial world. That is the same philosophy of Hinduism also. राइट काली युग में जो बोलते हैं कि व्हेन इट विल बी एट पीक देन अगेन लॉर्ड विष्णु विल कम ऑन टू द अर्थ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कली वज्रपानी वज्रपानी इज द नेक्स्ट गार्जियन ऑफ गौतम बुद्ध फर्स्ट इज पद्म पानी अनदर वन इज वज्रपानी एंड द थर्ड वन इज मंजूश्री सो दीज आर द थ्री बुद्धा दीज आर द थ्री बुद्धा हु प्रोटेक्ट He is said to express 
all buddha's powers as the powers of the five tathagat right who are those five tathagat vairokana akshobhaya amitab ratna sambhav amog siddhi and he holds the thunder th uh, thunderbolt i know a very factual uh, things are mentioned over here but keep revising keep revising uh, means i would suggest you that names you find very difficult just stick them on your study table your wall to bar bar dekhoge to you will get familiar to those names next is samant bhadra samant bhadra also known as universal buddha <coughs> associated with meditation in buddhism he is a part of shakyamuni triad which also includes buddha and manjushri so buddha manjushri and samant bhadra they come in shakyamuni triad so please don't get confused shakyamuni triad alag hai the three people who guard uh, main buddha they are different vajrapani padmani and manjushri so manjushri wahan pe bhi hai manjushri yahan pe bhi hai theek hai here they are guarding buddha yahan pe buddha is a part of the triad नेक्स्ट इज क्षति गर्भ गार्जियन ऑफ प्रोजेटरीज एंड चिल्ड्रन बोधि सत्व ऑफ अर्थ इम मोटल बींग्स मीन्स यू कैन रिमेंबर इट बाई गार्जियन ऑफ द बींग्स ऑन द अर्थ अब मंजूश्री द वन हु इज इन ट्राइड ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्टर ऑल्सो तो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड ही इज अ सिम्युलेटर ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ही होल्ड्स अ बुक डिस्क्राइबिंग टेन पारामिताज सिक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन्होंने टेन पारामिताज को एक्सप्लेन किया है डिपेक्ट मेल बोधि सत्व wielding flaming sword in his left hand so there is flaming sword in his left hand he is a man bodhi sutta we have already seen that male hai with the sword in his hand who is linked with buddha's wisdom he ponders buddha's knowledge or the wisdom clear yeah? next with reference to the religious practices in india sthanak vasi sect belong to See, we have already read itne sects of Buddhism, but Sthanak Vasi we have not seen. So Sthanak Vasi belongs to Jainism. Clear? Yeah? Now, because a question has been asked, so many questions have been asked. Itna detail from Buddhism sect, Jainism ka bhi aa chuka hai, so we cannot skip the sects of Jainism. It is also important. So major sects in Jainism. फोर्थ सेंचुरी बी सी में द वॉज अ फिमीन इन मगल हाउ इट गॉट हाउ द डिविजन इमर्ज हाउ द सेक्ट इमर्ज दैट इज द स्टोरी तो पहले लड़ाई होती है एंड देन द थिंग्स गॉट डिवाइडेड तो इन फोर्थ एक्सक्यूज मी इन फोर्थ सेंचुरी बी सी द वॉज अ फिमीन इन मगध ओके एंड बिकॉज द वॉज अ फिमीन सो मेनी पीपल हैड टू गो टू द साउथ सो अ ग्रुप ऑफ जैन मॉन्ग्स Led by Bhadra Bahu, remember the name of the leader. They went to South India. After they have come back to Magad, and a liberal section headed by Sthul Bhadra wanted relaxation of rules. Sangha, Orthodox section Bhadra Bahu were against such relaxation. Abhi, now what is the story? If you have not understood, see. In Magad. Jains were living. Now there was famine, which compelled one part to stay in Magad only, right? And another part went to South India. South India, me who went? Bhadra Bahu. And abhi the rules is same for both. The one who stayed there, they became liberal, headed by. स्थूल भद्र दे बिकेम लिबरल मीन्स एक्चुअली द जेनिज्म इन जेनिज्म दे वर नॉट अलाउड टू वियर क्लोथ्स बट स्थूल भद्र सेट वाइट क्लैड्स यू कैन वियर राइट हेल्प द डिविजन स्टार्टेड वेन दे कम बैक दे सेट वी वॉन्ट रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ रूल्स दे से नो वी विल नॉट रिलैक्स एनी रूल्स सो नाउ द टू सेक्स एमर्ज दैट इज दिगंबर and shwetambar they said i will wear we will wear white clothes okay the sky is our 
क्लॉथ वी विल नॉट वियर एनी थिंग तो श्वेतांबर आर द लिबरल वन दे पे रेप्रेजेंटेशन दे वियर वाइट क्लॉथ्स दे फॉलो ओनली फोर वोस देयर आर फाइव वोस इंक्लूडिंग ब्रह्मचारी तो दे डोंट फॉलो ब्रह्मचारी मींस दे हैव अ फैमिली लाइफ एंड द लीडर वाज स्थूल बद्र दे वर द ग्रुप हु रिमेन मग दे डिडंट मूव साउथ नेक्स्ट इज स्थानकवासी सेक्ट फाउंडर इज लावाजी 1653 एडी ही अपोज्ड आइडोल वर्शिप एक्सेप्ट श्वेतांबर जैन अगमास रूट्स ऑफ द सेक्ट and can be traced to the teachings of lonka shah basically it is a subsect of shwetambara means who who were wearing white clad shwetambar terapant no before that murti pujak murti naam se hi pata chal raha hai murti means idol pujak means worship so they worship idol who's idol teerthankar Tirthankaras because they say yes God exists but our Tirthankar is above God so we will worship Tirthankar instead of God. They do do not use muh patti. What do we mean by muh patti? Muh means mouth. Patti means a strip laga lete the. They used to place us. Abhi bhi if you have seen there's a class of gens who strip laga ke rakte hain muh pe white color ka. So ye they did not use muh patti. Next is Shwetamir Therapanth. फाउंडर आचार्य भिक्षु अपोज आइडोल वर्शिप ये ऑपोजिट हो गए मूर्ति पूजक के दे हैड थर्टीन रिलीजियस प्रिंसिपल्स विच आर फाइव समितीज फाइव महाव्रत एंड थ्री गुप्तीज क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज दिगंबर दिगंबर दे डिड नॉट वॉन्ट एनी चेंज दे रिजेक्टेड ट्वेल्व अंगाज मीन्स द लिटरेचर रिटर्न बाय श्वेतांबर वाला सेक्ट said they, that is not true jain canon true jain literature they believed in complete nudity followed all the five woes and they also believed that women cannot achieve salvation bhadrabahu was the leader the shwetambar said that women can achieve liberation but they say no uh, the gambar said women can't achieve liberation mool sang means original Mool means original, and the founder is Acharya Kund Kund. Guys, Buddhism and Jainism is very very important. Keep scribbling, keep writing the important terms. Next sect is Bispantha. They support Dharma Gurus. Means the authority is known as Bhatta Rakas. They worship the idols of Jain Tirthankaras. and chetrapal padmavati and other deities and how they used to worship saffron flowers fruits so normal hota hai and presently they are present in maharashtra karnataka and south india bispantha next is kashth sangh loha charya founder and whoever you will find agarwal jains they wo inhi ke supporters hote hain right next is terapantha Started by Amra Bhosa Gaudika and Jodhraj Gaudika. Now they were in opposition to Bhatta Garas on thirteen points like Abhishek, flowers, puja, jo ye log use karte the. They were not in favor of those. Next is this is Tara Pantha. Now is Taran Pantha. Please, please don't get confused. Taran Pantha and Tara Pantha. Samaya Pantha. Taran Pantha is also known as Samaya Pantha. Why Taran Pantha? Because the founder was Taran Swami. They worship Chandnya. What is that? These are the sacred books. So here, pe the worship of books was there instead of murti, idols. Idol worship nahi thi. Books ki puja hai. Hence, they are also known as Samaya Pantha. Now, where they are famous? In Bundelkhand region. No idol worship we have already uh, seen, and whose books do they worship? The Kambar ki. Plus the fourteen sacred books written by their founder Taran Swami. They were against the caste distinction, means everybody can come and join this group. 
That's why they become popular. Buddhism, Jainism ke aane ka hi purpose yehi tha that there should not be any caste discrimination in the society. Next is Gumna Pantha, started by Pan Pandit Gumani Ram. They prohibit lighting of candles or lamps in the Jain temple. Means koi diya nahi jalana, koi candle nahi on karni hai. Because unke according ye Jain religion ke against hai. Your conduct should be pure and self-discipline has to be maintained. So it was also known as Shuddha Amnaya. Write down Shuddha Amnaya. Next is Tota Pantha. Why it was formed? Because Bis Pantha and Tera Pantha. They had differences. And to accommodate those differences, a next sect was formed that is Tota Pantha. So basically you should know Gumna Pantha, Total Pantha, Tera Pantha, Taran Pantha, they all belong to Jainism. Next question. Consider the following statements. Bijak is a composition of the teachings of Saint Dadu Dayal. If you guys have read that Bijak is not the composition of Saint Dadu Dayal, it is the composition of Kabir. Bijak, Sakhi, they are composed by Kabir. Philosophy of Pushti Mark was propounded by Madhavacharya. No. If you study the philosophy, this is given by Vallabhacharya. <laughs> and Madhavacharya gave dualism. So, which of them are correct? Neither one nor you, both of them are incorrect. So let's read about Kabir. So Kabir was the disciple of Ramananda. Sheikh Ahmad Sirhindi belongs to the period of 1624 or Kabir 15th century. Ke the. He believed in the idea of one God means there is no wa, uh, uh, Allah, God, Bhagwan. There is only one God. Right? For everyone. He also rejected Vedas and the poems and his works were Sakhi, Bijak, Shabad, Basant, Mangal, Holi, Rekta and his poems were known as Bani. Chalti hai na Kabir ki Bani, Kabir ki Sakhi and Bijak. They were compiled in these Banis were compiled in Bijak. Next is Vallabhacharya. He had the doctrine of Shuddha Dvait. What do you mean by Shuddha Dvait? Pure non-dualism. Non-dualism means two different things are not different. Actually, what two things they are talking about? The individual and God. There is non-dualism. Non-dualism means these two are not different. They are one. Sabke andar hi bhag, sabke andar hi bhagwan hai. Okay. Every individual has God inside him. So oneness of individual and God pe inhone bola hai. He is the founder of Rudra Sampraday, and his philosophy is known as Pushti Mark. He wrote Subodhini, Siddhant Rahesya. He worshipped Krishna under the title. श्रीनाथ जी जो आप श्रीनाथ जी का आइडल देखते हो वर्शिप करते हैं तो वो इन्होंने ही स्टार्ट करा था कृष्णा जी के कृष्णा जी का न्यू नेम दिया श्रीनाथ जी विठल जैसे दिया वैसे श्रीनाथ जी नेक्स्ट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स डज नॉट फॉर्म पार्ट ऑफ द सिक्स सिस्टम ऑफ इंडियन फिलोसफी आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट देर आर सिक्स स्कूल सिक्स ऑर्थोडॉक्स स्कूल तो वॉट आर दो Those who know the answers, please don't uh, wait for me to write here. Write them in the comment box. Fata fat. Nyay. Yog. Vaisheshika. Uttar Vimansa. And Purva Vimansa.
okay so now tell me which of them does not form the part of six six terms of indian schools mimansa vedanta acha i would like to ask one question from you guys which of the school in six may se kaun se school ko vedanta bolte hain just write down in the comment box फटाफट इन्हीं में से देर इज वन स्कूल दैट इज नोन एज वेदांत विच ऑफ देम इज दैट न्याय वैशेषिका वी सी लोकयाता एंड कपालिका वी हैव नॉट सीन सांख्य एंड योग सीन सो दिस इज नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ द सिक्स सिस्टम ऑफ इंडियन फिलोसफी रीड अबाउट ईच ऑफ द स्कूल बिकॉज दीज स्कूल आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नो द फिलोसफी ओल्डेस्ट फिलोसफिकल स्कूल Read by Kapil Muni. You should know the founder because March the following May UPSC can ask you. Shanti Tantra, Sh Shastri Tantra, written by Kapil Muni is the principal text where you will find this. What is the core philosophy? That everything stems from Purush, means Atma, and Prakriti, that is the energy. So energy can be transferred, changed, and all, but soul. that purush remains same it cannot be changed He, they do not believe in the existence of god according to them the prakriti or the nature is responsible for the creation and evolution of the world <coughs> now purush is associated with consciousness and cannot be changed we have already seen mind it recognizes existence of tatva pachas element जिसकी वजह से द यूनिवर्स इज क्रिएटेड ही बिलीव इन डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ थ्री गुनाज तामस राजस सत्व वॉट आर दीज तामस इज द नेगेटिव तामस मीन्स नेगेटिव इग्नोरेंस इनर्शिया दीज आर द नेगेटिव पीपल हुम यू सी अराउंड यू राजस द वन हु इज एंजॉइंग द वर्ल्डली प्लेचर्स इमोशन एनर्जी एक्सपेंसिवनेस एंड वॉट इज सत्व सतगुण होता है द इल्यूमिनेशन एनलाइटनमेंट एंड द निर्वाणा वॉट डू यू से ओके सो दीज आर द थ्री गुड विच आर प्रेजेंट इन एवरी बॉडी बट किसका प्रपोर्शन कितना है वो मैटर करता है दैट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ द पर्सन बिलीव इन द थ्योरी ऑफ सत्कार्यवाद मीन्स द इज अ कॉज फॉर एवरी एक्शन सेल्वेशन हाउ कैन यू अचीव ऑलवेज रिमेंबर हाउ डू द सेल्वेशन कैन बी अचीव अटेंड हर स्कूल का आपको पता होना चाहिए फाउंडर एंड हाउ टू अटेंड द सेल्वेशन रियल नॉलेज एंड हाउ यू कैन एक्वायर दैट रियल नॉलेज टू परसेप्शन हेयरिंग एंड इन्फ्रेंस प्रत्यक्ष शब्द एंड अनुमान आई बिलीव दैट द इज एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ इनफाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ सिमिलर बट सेपरेट पुरुष नो बडी इज सुपीरियर नो बडी इज इन्फीरियर दे ऑल आर सेम believed in karma transmigration of soul advait vedanta derives its base from this school advait means non dualism that we were discussing right now now body consists of buddhi ahankar means mang uh, jo hota hai manas and pran ईश्वर चंद्र रोड सांख्य हारिका और सांख्य फिलोसफी रिमेंबर सांख्य हारिका हु रोट इट ईश्वर चंद्र नेक्स्ट इज योग वेरी वेरी फेमस यू नो हाउ इन दिस द सेल्वेशन विल बी अटेंड बाय डूइंग योगा बाय कंट्रोलिंग ब्रीदिंग पतंजलि फाउंडर रिलेटेड टू सांख्य स्कूल एंड कोर फिलोसफी इज yogic techniques control body mind and sense organs so that is the means of attaining salvation text patanjali's yoga sutra salvation through physical training and meditation believes in existence of god sankhya school did not believe in existence of god but here it believes in existence of god god is not creator but an exalted soul which exists in eternity the sacred symbol is om 
practice of yoga includes yam now you should know these terminologies because terminology is the favorite part of upsc they can ask you any time yam means up controlled or you are not doing any violence niyam habits jo aapke niyam rules regulations bana lete ho pratyahara means you have to choose an object jis pe aap meditation karoge asan posture pranayam breathing control karwate hain dharana focused attention on an object dhyan meditation samadhi concentration इतनी अच्छी लगनी चाहिए कि नो बडी कैन डिस्ट्रैक्ट यू जैसे हमने डिसेंट ऑफ द गैंजेस में देखा था राजा भोज रोट अ कमेंट्री कॉल्ड योग सूत्र वृत्ति ऑन योग सूत्र रिमेम्बर दिस ओके नेक्स्ट इज न्याय एज द नेम सजेस्ट जस्टिस रैशनैलिटी इट इज बेस्ड ऑन लॉजिक एंड रैशनैलिटी Sage Gautam was the founder. Text न्याय सूत्र philosophy. You will not accept anything without logical thinking, without reason. And how can you attain salvation? यहाँ पे भी प्रत्यक्ष अनुमान उपस उपमान and शब्द. Four sources of invalid knowledge, that is memory, doubt, error, and hypothetical <coughs> argument. शायद ऐसा होगा. मैंने सुना था किसी से सुना था गेटिंग अटेनिंग नॉलेज थ्रू फाइव सेंसेस इज द सोल वे ऑफ लिबरेशन मींस ऑल द फाइव सेंसेस शुड सिंग टुगेदर फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग वैशेषिका हेयर फाउंडर इज उलुक कन्नड़ कन्नड़ सूत्र प्रिंसिपल टेक्स्ट नाउ हेयर द फोकस इज ऑन मटेरियल एलिमेंट्स एटम The theory of atomism come from here. It accepted two means to knowledge: perception and inference. यहाँ पे दो चीजें हैं बस. According to it, universe is made up of five तत्व, five atomic elements: earth, air, water, fire, ether. That is Akash. And it believes in dualism. कौन से dualism? Matter and soul. प्रशस्त पद रोट कमेंट्री कॉल्ड पदार्थ धर्म संग्रह. What is पदार्थ पदार्थ is atom. So it focuses on atomism. Law of karma guide the universe. जैसा आप करोगे वैसी energy कहते हैं positive vibes positive energy आपके आसपास रहती है. That is from here this philosophy. All objects in the physical universe are reducible to परमाणु. मत सब atom का बना है atom में ही मिल जाएगा. It is the interplay of substances. नेक्स्ट इज मीमांसा या पूर्व मीमांसा या कर्म मीमांसा दे ऑल आर सेम एंड आई वाज आस्किंग यू द क्वेश्चन ऑन वेदांता तो दैट इज उत्तर मीमांसा बिकॉज दैट इज द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ वेदा तो इसलिए वेद अंत बोलते हैं वेदांत ओके पूर्व मीमांसा फाउंडर तेज जेमिनाय जेमिनाय सूत्र टेक्स्ट फिलोसफी ये फोकस्ड ऑन यज यज्ञ एंड मंत्रास and they say that vedas are infallible means they don't have any mistake whatever is written there is perfectly correct and therefore vedic rituals are uh, necessary to attain salvation no logical no reasoning but whatever is the ritual given there aap wo karo you will get salvation it is associated with akhyativad means ex existence of illusion is not accepted कुमारिला भट्ट इज द प्रोमेंट स्कॉलर एसोसिएटेड विद दिस स्कूल उत्तर मीमांसा और वेदांता फाउंडर बद्रायन ब्रह्म सूत्र टेक्स्ट है मोनिस्टिक स्कूल ऑफ फिलोसफी मींस एक रियलिटी क्या है ब्रह्म हेयर द ब्रह्म इज द ज्योति लाइट जो जिसके लिए मेडिटेशन कर आते हैं राइट थ्री फंडामेंटल वेदांत टेक्स्ट आर उपनिषद ब्रह्म सूत्र एंड भगवद गीता एंड दे बिलीव इन ट्रांस माइग्रेशन ऑफ सेल्फ इन संसारा में दे यूज टू बिलीव आत्मा इज द एजेंट ऑफ कर्म 
means whatever consequences will be faced that will be faced by atma and what are the sub branches advait vishisht dvait 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 vad shuddh dvait achintya bhed abhed means there is certain philosophy jo kehte hain god and individual are one some say they are separate some say they are both ek bhi hain separate bhi hain means initially separate hote hain you have to do certain karmas it aise kaam karne chahiye jisse wo ek ho jaye so these are the sub branches of uttar mimamsa next with reference to the religious history of india consider the following statements sautantrika and samitiya were sub texts of jainism sarvastivad in held that constituents of phenomena were not only momentary but existed forever in latent form which of them are correct i won't answer from you guys because yes this we have just discussed this is the repeated question come on so sautantrika is it related to buddhist uh, buddhism or jainism related to buddhism uska subsect we have just read and sarvastivad said this ki there are certain things which remain forever so two only is the correct option this we have already covered sarvastivad in the dissension of buddhism next saint nimbarka was the contemporary of akbar sant kabir was greatly influenced by sheik ahmed sirhindi ठीक है इसमें थोड़ा सा आपको आइडिया होना चाहिए अदरवाइज यू वोट बी एबल टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन इन केस आइडिया नहीं है तो दिस इज अ लीव वाला क्वेश्चन लीव दिस क्वेश्चन इफ यू डोंट हैव द आइडिया सेंट नंबर का ही इज फ्रॉम सन इन थाउजेंड सी एंड अकबर इज इन सम फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सी राइट सो बेसिकली दे आर नॉट द कंटेम्प्री एंड Kabir was also in fourteen hundred something, fifteen century one, and Sheikh Sir Hindi was in some sixteen hundred years. So, yahan pe bhi he cannot influence that, but the later one cannot influence the previous one. So, neither one nor two. Saint Nimbar, if you uh, study about this, he was the contemporary of Ramanuja, and the Telugu Brahman. He propounded the doctrine of dwait or dwait means अलग भी हैं और अलग नहीं भी हैं that I was saying कि initially separate होते हैं और बाद में एक हो जाते हैं the world and the soul from God but the soul cannot exist without the God support Akbar say fifteen forty two to sixteen o five Kabir fourteen forty to fifteen ten yeah we have already done about Kabir when we were discussing the question on bija next this again guys you have to answer this question because again this is a repeated question with reference to the cultural history of india consider the following pairs parivrachak renunciant and wanderer shraman priest with a high status upasak lay follower of buddhism so upasak correct Shraman was this a priest? No, he was a seeker. And Parivrajak is the wanderer. So one and three is the correct option. I hope you guys have got the correct answer. So Parivrajak, we have already uh, discussed who is a Parivrajak. Let's take the examples: Gautam Buddha, Makali Ghosh, Bhartman Mahavir. Shraman, Shraman refers to the seeker who performs the act of austerity. Ascetism disregarded the higher status of Brahmins, and they lived in monasteries. Upasak for the world's second tallest statue in sitting pose of Ramanuja was inaugurated by PM of India at Hyderabad recently. Which one of the following statements correctly represents the teachings of Ramanuja? So this is a current affairs based question that had been asked in UPSC. तो इससे वॉट आइडिया दैट यू हैव गॉट वॉट एवर स्टैचू हो या कोई चेंजेस हो रहे हैं स्ट्रक्चर में यू शुड ट्राई टू गेट द फिलोसफी बिहाइंड दोज पीपल ये कुछ स्पेशल उनका है तो जस्ट हैव अ नोट डाउन द बेस्ट मीन्स ऑफ सेल्वेशन वॉज डिवोशन वेदाज आर इटर्नल सेल्फ एग्जिस्टेंट एंड होली अथॉरिटेटिव 
logical arguments were meant for the highest bliss salvation was to be attained through meditation no he did not advocated meditation logical arguments was given by nyaya school so ramanuja said that you have to focus on devotion meditation was of yoga so ramanuja he was the exponent of bhakti movement and karma and bhakti were required to attain salvation so remember karma and bhakti and bhagwan ki kripa zyada zaruri hai aapki knowledge se so grace of god is more important than the knowledge this is what he said and that's why you have to give intense devotion to lord vishnu he was the propagator of vishisht dvait that is the sub branch of vedanta philosophy ya qualified monism so that means they initially it was saying that there's a distinction between soul and brahm but eventually they can become one by putting in the efforts he used sanskrit literary works are vedarth sangraham shri bhashyam geet bhashyam statue of equality it is the statue of ramanujacharya in hyderabad designed by dnv prasad sthapati constructed by aeroson corporation of china made up of panch loha remember what all metals constitute panch loha ye pata hona chahiye gold silver brass copper titanium iska pata hai panch loha ka next with reference to cultural history of medieval india consider the following siddhas sitars of tamil region were monotheistic and condemned idolatry kyunki inhone idolatry condemn ki thi that's why they became a separate group so this statement is correct lingayat of kannad region questioned the theory of rebirth and rejected caste hierarchy absolutely correct they all basically came because of the because the common people were not happy with the caste hierarchy prevalent in the society in sab ne hi almost caste hierarchy reject ki so both of them are correct let's read about these siddhas of tamil nadu monotheistic puritan creed most active during 16th and 17th century they believed in oneness of transcendental being in the world as well as charity towards men ki bhagwan ki seva is the human seva right they believed there is only one god that's why monotheistic and their attitude against idol worship and their stress on yoga knowledge that's why they got distinguished from bhakti cult because they stressed on yoga and they did not want idol worship lingayat ये वीर शिवा के सबसेक्ट हैं राइट फॉलोअर्स ऑफ सेंट बसवन्ना रिमेंबर दिस नेम अ ब्राह्मणा हु वॉज इनिशियली अ जैन एंड अ मिनिस्टर इन द कोर्ट ऑफ चलुकिया किंग स्ट्रिक्टली मोनोथिस्टिक मीन्स ओनली वन गॉड एंड दैट गॉड इज लॉर्ड शिवा नाम से ही पता चल रहा है लिंगायत दे रिजेक्टेड सोशल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन आई हैव टोल्ड यू ki these groups emerge just because of the social discrimination that is prevalent in the society they wear ishtling a necklace with a pendant that contains small shivling so they used to wear that necklace they believe there is no rebirth and on death the devotee reunites with shiva they are not cremated remember they are buried in a setting in a meditative position just like shiva so वैसे हो सकता है कि you guys can get confused if a question comes that they are cremated because the cremation grounds you will find idol of lord shiva but jo lingayat khud hain they are not being created uh, cremated inko bari kiya jata hai that to in meditative posture they were the dominant community who make up nearly 17% of karnataka's 6 crore population to so, karnataka mein they are prevalent so that completes our this chapter now we will move to the miscellaneous wala one of two three chapters they are very very small that was the major one that you guys have already covered let's move on so next is chapter number 5 that is on martial art it's a bit factual agar padha hoga to isme kya hota hai you will be able to handle nahi padha hoga to we cannot even guess okay first question to is the repeated question jo abhi kiya tha 
सो लेट्स किप दिस हांगता डांस इज फ्रॉम बी क्विक वाइज रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन तो बिल्कुल आंसर देने हैं तुरंत मणिपुर तो तांगता डांस के बारे में भी आई हैव ऑलरेडी रेड नाउ नेक्स्ट इज विद इंडिया विद रेफरेंस टू इंडिया कल्चर एंड ट्रेडिशन वॉट इज कलारी पैतु वेरी वेरी फेमस बहुत बार यूज में रहता है इट इज एन एशियन भक्ति कल्ट ऑफ शेविज्म स्टिल प्रेवलेंट इन सम पार्ट ऑफ साउथ इंडिया सो दिस इज नॉट अ भक्ति कल्ट आई सपोज इट इज एन एशियन स्टाइल ब्रॉन्स एंड ब्रास वर्क स्टिल फाउंड इन द सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ कॉरमेंटल एरिया नो इट इज एन एशियंट फॉर्म ऑफ डांस ड्रामा एंड अ लिविंग ट्रेडिशन इन द नदर्न पार्ट ऑफ मलावर नो इट इज एन एशियन मार्शल आर्ट एंड अ लिविंग ट्रेडिशन इन सम पार्ट ऑफ साउथ इंडिया येस ऑल दो वी आर डूइंग द चैप्टर ऑन मार्शल आर्ट्स तो आप लोग वैसे भी आंसर पर पहुँच सकते थे इवन इफ यू गाइज हैव नॉट रेड इट्स एन एशियन मार्शल आर्ट तो लेट्स रीड अबाउट कलारी पा यू इट इज़ वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट मार्शल आर्ट ओरिजिनेटेड ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड टू हंड्रेड बी सी टू टू हंड्रेड ए डी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाई अ लेजेंड सेज परशुराम who built temples right it is practiced mainly in the state of kerala and nearby areas of tamil nadu in this there is a mock duel armed and unarmed combat and physical exercises it is not accompanied by any drumming or song remember no song or drumming is there most important is the footwork which includes kicks strikes weapon based practice it is also done by women remember this unni yatra yarcha a legendary heroine who won many battles using this martial art so remember this name also techniques uzichil or the massage with gingli oil mai payatu or the body exercises these are the key terms that you won't find anywhere means ek bar padha hoga pyqs mein dekha hoga to you will be able to eliminate in case the question gets repeated पुली यंकम और द सॉर्ट फाइट वेरूम काई और बेयर हैंडेड फाइट इट वॉज बैंड बाय ब्रिटिश कोलोनियल दैट इज ऑल अबाउट कलारी पैतू एंड द मार्शल आर्ट्स दैट इज अ वेरी स्मॉल टॉपिक आज तक दो ही क्वेश्चन आए हैं लेट सी द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर एंड दैट इज लिटरेचर अच्छा आई एम रीडिंग दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट देन विल सी विद रेफरेंस टू इंडियन हिस्ट्री कंसिडर फॉलोइंग टेक्स्ट नेति पकारन परिशिष्टि पर्वन अवदान शतक त्रिषष्टि तिलक्षण महापुराण फुल स्टॉप विच ऑफ द अब आर जैन टेक्स्ट वन टू थ्री टू फोर वन टू वन थ्री फोर टू थ्री फोर काइंडली कॉमेंट इन द चैट बॉक्स ये कॉमेंट सेक्शन कि हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन जिसने पढ़ा है जेनविनली सी एज एन एवरेज स्टूडेंट या मैं अपनी ही बात करूँ आई वॉन्ट बी नोइंग दिस आंसर बिल्कुल वर्ड बाय वर्ड राइट सो हाउ वाई यू पी एस सी इज गिवन सच अ क्वेश्चन डू वी हैव टू लीव सच क्वेश्चन और वी हैव टू गिव अ सेकेंड थॉट टू दीज क्वेश्चन सो नाउ दे आर आस्किंग द जैन टेक्स्ट इफ यू गाइज हैव रेड हिस्ट्री एन सी आर टी कभी भी पढ़ा होगा यू हैव ऑलवेज हर्ड दैट वॉट एवर पेंटिंग स्कल्पर कुछ भी होता है बुद्धिज्म में तो दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन लाइफ ऑफ बुद्धा जातक स्टोरीज एंड अवधाना सो बाई दिस ओनली नॉलेज यू गाइज कैन somehow estimate that avdanas are related to buddhism so that is not related to jain now i can cut option number 3 and this is how i will reach my correct answer and that is why this has been asked by upsc to check your presence of mind they don't want you to be crammers ye bilkul facts ko ratta maar ke बैठ जाओ एंड यू शुड बी नोइंग दे आर एक्सपेक्टिंग कि तो भाई ये सब पता होगा नहीं नो बडी नोज दिस बट योर प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड कैन रेस्क्यू यू फ्रॉम सच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन आ गया है तो अपने को तो रेडी रहना है अब फर्स्ट टाइम के लिए दे विल गिव यू अ चांस बट सेकेंड टाइम दे वुड एक्सपेक्ट कि आप पी वाई क्यूज विद एनालिसिस करके आए हो तो दे केन आस्क यू डेफिनेटली और यहाँ पे ओनली वन ओनली टू ओनली थ्री ओनली फोर वाला ट्रेंड 
आ चुका है सो यू शुड बी श्योर अबाउट द थिंग्स जैन लिटरेचर रिटर्न है प्राकृत लैंग्वेज महावीर यूज अर्ध माघरी लैंग्वेज इट वॉज अ वेरियंट ऑफ प्राकृत टू स्प्रेड हिज आई एस नाउ देर आर टू लिटरेचर ऑफ जैन अगम एंड नॉन अगम अगम वॉज द टीचिंग ऑफ महावीरा कंपाइल्ड बाय हिज फॉलोअर्स रिटर्न इन अर्ध माघदी लैंग्वेज अंग अगम इट हैज द डायरेक्ट प्रीचिंग ऑफ महावीर एंड इट वॉज कंपाइल्ड बाय गांधार्स हु पजेस्ड केवल ज्ञान केवल ज्ञान मीन्स ओनली नॉलेज ट्वेल्थ अंग अगम इज कॉल्ड दृष्टिवाद विच हैज फोर्टीन पूर्वा टेक्स्ट सो पूर्वा टेक्स्ट आर ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू जैनिज्म अंग बाहे अगम इट वॉज द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द अंग अगम इट वॉज कंपाइल्ड बे श्रुत केवलिन द मॉन्ग्स हु पजेस द नॉलेज ऑफ टेन पूर्वा फोर्टीन में से दस की नॉलेज जिसको भी है उसे बोलते हैं श्रुत केवलिन दिस इज अगेन अ टर्मिनोलॉजी श्रुत केवलिन नॉन अगम लिटरेचर दिस हैज कॉमेंट्री एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द अगम लिटरेचर कंबाइंड बाय एल्डर मॉन्ग्स डंस एंड स्कॉलर्स रिटर्न इन प्राकृत संस्कृत गुजराती अब यहाँ पे मल्टीपल लैंग्वेजेस आ गई वो अर्धबागदी में थी राइट नाउ फोर्टीन पूर्वाज दैट वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ दृष्टिवाद oldest jain scriptures they have entire knowledge of universe and monks who acquire knowledge of these accorded the status of shrut kevalin gautam swami sudharman swami and jammu swami jambu swami inko shrut kevalin ka status mila tha 12 ang shwetambar canonical scripture because uh, <coughs> they disregarded the gambars wala तो ट्वेल्व अंग श्वेतांबर्स कैनोनिकल स्क्रिप्चर्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ द रूल्स ऑफ कंडक्ट ऑफ जैन संगत दिस वाज रिजेक्टेड बाय दिगंबर सेक्ट मूल सूत्र इट इज आल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद श्वेतांबर न्यू मॉन्ग स्टडी दीज आफ्टर इनिशिएशन इनटू जैन संघ वंस दे एंटर इनटू दैट फिर उनका ये कोर्स होता है दैट इज मूल सूत्र निर्युक्ति दैट इज द वर्स फॉर्म एंड चूर्नीज they are the prose form they are the, again the commentaries on the sacred texts in two forms prose and verse kalpa sutra they have the biography of parshvanath and mahavir it was composed by bhadrabahu read by jain monks during paryushan festival remember paryushan festival is the jain festival when they read these things it is written in prakrit language Achuranga Sutra. It has the rules of monastic life. The Gambas do not recognize them. I have already told you. It was the first of original twelve ang, and it was disregarded by the Gambas. Parishist Parvan, also known as Thavir Vali Chir uh, Charitra, it is a Sanskrit Mahakavya by Hemchandra, where the history of earliest Jain teachers are given. Trishasti Ukshan Mahapuran. It was composed by Acharya Jain Sena during the rule of Rashtrakuta. So that is the detailed explanation of Jain literature. Buddhist text, you know, there are three Buddhist texts that are known as three pitak, very very important. Sutta pitak, Vinaya pitak, Abhidham pitak. Sutta pitak me kya hai? Teachings of Buddha composed by Ananda, who was the chief disciple of Buddha. Angutara Nikaya, it has numerical. Digha Nikaya, long discourses. Udaka Nikaya, minor collection. Majima, middle, naam se hi pata chal raha hai, samyukta. Connected discourses of Buddha. Now, Vinay Pitak, what does it contain? Rules of conduct, how you have to behave. And whoever monks and nuns get admitted into the Sangh, they have to read this and follow this. Composed by Upali. Divided into Sutta Vibhang, basic code for fully ordained monks called bhikkhus and bhikkhunis. It again has two volume, Mahavagga and Kalavagga. Mahavagga me there is awakening of Buddha. Kulavagga me first and second Buddhist council ke baare me it is mentioned. Parivar, it covers the analysis of the rules. why they are given why it is made the reasoning logical 
so that people get confused next is abhidhamma pitak it is compiled during the third buddhist council and it has the interpretation of the teachings of buddha whatever teachings buddha has given what does it exactly tell uska detailed elaboration interpretation isi mein hai divided into seven books dhamma sangini dhatu katha katha vatthu pathan ugala pantui vibhang yamak nidan katha फर्स्ट कनेक्टेड लाइफ स्टोरी ऑफ बुद्धा यू शुड नो दान कथा इज वेरी फेमस मिलिंद पानू जहाँ पे मिनेंडर एंड नागसेना देट अ क्वेश्चन क्या होना चाहिए क्यों नहीं होना चाहिए फाइनली मिनेंडर गॉट कन्विंस्ड विद नागसेना एंड ही कन्वर्टेड इन टू बुद्धिज्म एंड मिनांडर चेंज इज नेम फ्रॉम मिनांडर टू मिलिंद दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज मिलिंद पानू वज्र छेदिका It's a Mahayana text that contains about metaphysical writing. Lalit Vistar, again a Mahayana text. It contains the flowery narrative of the life of Buddha. And Sukhya Vatiview, it is again a Mahayana text which describes the glories of Amitabh and his paradise. One of the Karan Daviu, it glorifies Avloki Teshwar, Padmapani. Ast Sahasrika, Prajna Paramita. It's a Mahayana work deal with the spiritual perfection of Ma Bodhi Sattva. <coughs> Madhyamika Karika, Prajna Paramita Karika, uh, Karika, written by Nagarjun. Sutra Lankara, Yoga Chara School ka hai. Vishuddhi Mark by Buddha Gosha, uh, Buddha Gosha it deals with the development from purity to enlightenment. Buddha Charita. श्रद्धोत्पदा शास्त्र रिटर्न बाय अश्व घोषा वहाई आई हैव इंक्लूडेड सो मच ऑफ टेक्स कि कहीं पे भी आपको ऐसा ना लगे कि पी वाई क्यू किया एंड दैट इज स्टिल इनकम्प्लीट दैट इज द टोटल होलिस्टिक कंपाइलेशन ऑफ पी वाई क्यूज इसके बाद आपको यू डोंट हैव टू गो एनी वेयर फॉर द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन राइट करो तो ऐसे करो अदरवाइज दैट इज जस्ट अ यू कैन से दिलासा देने वाली बात होती है हमने क्वेश्चन कर लिया आंसर कर लिया दैट इज नॉट यूजफुल यू हैव टू गो इन टू दिस मच ऑफ डेप्थ If a question is asked from a particular topic, Deepa Vansa, oldest historical record of Sri Lanka, Pali literature, Mahavamsa, Great Chronicle, Neti Pakarana, Buddhist scripture containing methods were taught by the Buddha's disciple Kachana, as approved by Buddha, and that it was recited at the first Buddhist council. Avdana Shatak, Shatak hota hai hundred. Hundred glorious deeds. They are the Jatak stories. I have already told you. Of that, I think you should know. Okay. Next question. Which one of the following statements about Sangam literature in ancient South India is correct? Sangam literature is again very very important. South se ek hi hai jo bahut important. Sangam poems are devoid of any reference to material culture. Wrong. We have seen material culture ka uska references given in NCERT. Social classification of Varna was known to Sangam poets, right? Sangam poems have no reference to warrior ethic. Wrong. We have warrior. Sangam literature refers to the magical forces as irrational. No, it was considered proper. No irrationality has been mentioned. So the correct answer is B. This is about Sangam literature. Again, a bit factual, but you should know the names. It refers to the assembly of Tamil poets organized under the patronage of Pandya kings. It is also known as Augustan age of Tamil literature. There are two categories, Agam and Puram. Puram means material aspects, first statement wrong. Agam means love. Now, the theme is love and war. So, it was not that it was not about war, tha, we have the theme of love and war. Principle was oral bardic literature means that uh, information was given orally now the books etu etu to gai eight works which are an guru nuru nari nai agana uru purana nuru purun to gai kalito gai paripadal pa, padi ru patu uh, i'm sorry for my pronunciation i don't know whether it's correct or not but the thing is you should know ek bar dekha hoga to You'll get to know कि संगम से है या बुद्धिज्म से है या जैनिज्म से है राइट नेक्स्ट इज पत्तू पत्तू कलेक्शन ऑफ टेन बोम्स पतिनेन किलकना कु इट हैज एटीन वर्क 
मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज तिरुकुराल और थर्ड बाय तिरुवल्लुवर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट शिल्पादिकरम आई होप यू गाइज हैव ऑलरेडी हर्ड अबाउट दिस नेम कंपोज बाय इलेंगो आदिगल एंड द थीम इज द लव स्टोरी ऑफ कोवलन कोवलन एंड माधवी मनी मेखलाई अगेन वेरी फेमस रिटन बाय सितलाई सत्यनार कंटिन्यूज द स्टोरी ऑफ शिल्पादिकरम मीन्स उसका नेक्स्ट जनरेशन पार्ट टू आया एपिसोड टू या सीरीज टू राइट इन विच मनी मेखलाई इज द डॉटर ऑफ माधवी एंड कोवलन एंड इट इज अबाउट द मनी मेखलाई तोलका पी एम रिटर्न बाय तोलका पी आर इट इज ऑन तमिल ग्रामर एंड पोइटिक्स अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट अगत्यम रिटर्न बाय सेज अगस्ती ऑन ग्रामर तिरुकुराल बाइबल ऑफ तमिल लैंड रिटर्न बाय तिरुवल्लुवर जीवक चिंतामणि रिटर्न बाय लिरुत्ता का देवर हिम द राउंड स्टोरी ऑफ जीवक हु हैड मैजिकल पावर्स इट्स अ मैरिज बुक संगम पोएम्स कंटेन सेवरल इंसिडेंटल रेफरेंस टू मटेरियल कल्चर सो मटेरियल वाला स्टेटमेंट इन्होंने रॉन्ग करा सो सोशल क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज ऑल्सो नोन टू दैम नेक्स्ट वेरी फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन अब तो नहीं आता बट स्टिल यू शुड नो कि अगर ऐसा भी आता है तो यू शुड हैव नॉलेज कि किस उपनिषद में क्या दिया हुआ है थोड़ा बहुत आइडिया रहेगा तो यू विल बी एबल टू हैंडल द क्वेश्चन नेशनल मोटो ऑफ इंडिया सत्यमेव जयते इंस्क्राइब्ड बिलो द एम्बल ऑफ इंडिया is taken from which upanishad katha chandode atriya mundak i hope you guys know mundak upanishad they constitute upanishad last part of vedas also known as vedanta last hai end of the vedas hai to ved ant ant means end it has the idea about sacrifice body universe atma brahm prose mein hai to that is brihad rannika upanishad and chandogya upanishad ये तो अर्ली उपनिषद थे एंड द लेटर वर्ल लेटर वर्क कथो उपनिषद रिटर्न इन वर्स फॉर्म अगेन दे फोकस्ड ऑन नॉलेज वाला पाथ दैट इज ज्ञान मार्ग एंड उपनिषद का मीनिंग होता है दैट द टीचर इज सिटिंग ऑन अ रेज प्लेटफॉर्म एंड बिलो दैट दस डिसाइपल इज सिटिंग तो यहाँ गुरु शिष्य परंपरा है मोनोथीस्टिक एलिमेंट्स आर देयर ब्रह्म इज द अल्टीमेट रियालिटी and mundak upanishad contains satyamev jate we have already seen that katha upanishad belongs to you jab bhi pata hona chahiye to data hai it employs an ancient story from the rigveda about a father who gives his son to death while bringing out some of the highest teaching of mystical spirituality atri upanishad belongs to rigveda so you should know the upanishad and the associated veda itne se match the following type se With reference to the history of ancient India, Bhavabhuti, Hasti Mala, Chemeshwar, who were these? Jain monks, playwrights, temple architects, philosopher. They were the playwrights. Bhavabhuti, he was the dramatist of the later Sanskrit pe uh, dramatic period. Fourth poet of King Yashovarman of Kannauj. He wrote plays based on Ramayan, such as Mahavir Charitra, Uttam Charitra, right? Uttar Kand of Ramayana. His third drama, Malti Madhav, that is also very very famous. Hasti Mala. He was a Kannada poet and writer. Shem uh, Shemeshwara. He was a Sanskrit poet from Kashmir, who wrote the Savitar Charitra. तो यू शुड नो सम वॉट राइटिंग्स बिकॉज इनका एक बार नेम आ गया है तो राइटिंग्स कैन बी मैच या टाइम पीरियड कैन बी मैच या प्लेस कैन बी मैच एनी थिंग कैन कम एंड देन देन दे कैन आस्क यू ओनली वन ओनली टू ओनली थ्री दिस तो आई थिंक गेट्स रिपीटेड स्लाइड दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सो सेकेंड लास्ट चैप्टर दिवस अगेन अल्ट्रा फैक्चुअल चैप्टर इफ यू नो नो नहीं पता तो नहीं पता चल या एक बार देख के जाना मोस्टली यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट अ क्वेश्चन फैक्चुअल होता है फुल मार्क्स आ सकते हैं इसमें इन फेस्टिवल्स में ज़्यादा इधर उधर भी दे कैन नॉट डू चल राइट नंद राज जात यात्रा इज ऑफ गोन्स नो इट्स नॉट ट्राइबल ये तो उत्तराखंड का है इट्स फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड 
एंड वारी वारी इज ऑफ वर्कर इज नॉट ऑफ संथाल सो करेक्ट बट ओनली साहिब सिंधी का है वे डिवोटीज फास्ट फॉर फोर्टी डेज चलिया चालीस नंद राज जात यात्रा इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर इन नंदा दे, नंदा देवी टेंपल रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ द टेंपल इन गढ़वाल एंड कुमाऊ इट कमेंसेज ऑन द डे ईयर मार्क फॉर द देवीज विजिट टू हर पेरेंट्स होम एंड कल्बिनेट्स विद द रिटर्न टू हर हजबेंड्स होम इट इज एक्सप्रेस इन द फोक सॉन्ग ऑफ उत्तराखंड वारी वारकरी इट इज एन एनुअल पिलग्रमेज टू पंडरपुर लॉर्ड विथोबा दैट इज द सीट ऑफ लॉर्ड विथोबा इन महाराष्ट्र पालकी इज कैरिंग द पदुका द फुटप्रिंट जो पादुका होती है चरण फुट ऑफ लॉर्ड विथोबा ऑफ वेरियस सेंट्स लाइक ध्यानेश्वर तुकार देवा टेकन फ्रॉम देर रिस्पेक्टिव श्राइंस टू पंडरपुर की वहां वो लोग भी विजिट कर रहे हैं नेक्स्ट अगेन इट्स अ रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन आई थिंक दिस हैज बिकम द फेवरेट क्वेश्चन द लास्ट चैप्टर दैट इज द मिसलिनियस वन विल बी एंडिंग दिस सेशन विद दिस चैप्टर सो विद रेफरेंस टू इंडिया द टर्म्स हाल बी हो क्वी इफ यू गाइस रीड द न्यूज़पेपर यू विल गेट टू नो दैट दीज आर द ट्राइबल लैंग्वेजेस राइट ट्राइबल लैंग्वेजेस देर आर सो मेनी ट्राइबल लैंग्वेजेस जस्ट गो थ्रू इट वंस एक बार देखी होंगी यू विल हैव एन आइडिया बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट मेमोराइज ऑल विच ऑफ द अब आर फेमस फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल साड़ीज और फैब्रिक भद्रचालम चंदेरी कांचीपुरम करनाल सी कांचीपुरम सिल्क साड़ी वेरी वेरी फेमस एवरीबडी वुड हैव हर्ड चंदेरी की साड़ी एवरीबडी वुड हैव हर्ड भद्रचालम That is famous for temple, I guess. So one को तो eliminate करो. Karnal is nowhere known for saree, and that is not in the option also. So B, two and three is the correct option. Now Bhadra Chalam temple, right? It is famous for temple only. Sri Sita Ramachandra Swami shrine at Bhadra Chalam, the most famous temple in the country dedicated to Lord Ram. Situated on Godavari River, constructed in 17th century by local Tehsildar Kancharla Gopanna, known as Bhakt Ram Das, the fervent devotee of Lord Sri Ram. That's why he named himself Ram Das. Das means fervent, right? <coughs> And here this map has been included to know कि कहाँ पे कौन सी साड़ी या कौन सा fabric famous है that you can go through, right? With the help of the map, it will it is easy to remember. नेक्स्ट अगेन अभी रैंडम डेट का क्वेश्चन है फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन है चैप्टर वन नेशनल कैलेंडर बेस्ड ऑन द साका एरा फॉर रिस्पॉन्स टू विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डेट्स ग्रिगोरियन कैलेंडर इन अ नॉर्मल ईयर ऑफ थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव सो इफ यू नो ग्रिगोरियन कैलेंडर में चैप्टर वन जो है फॉर रिस्पॉन्स टू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मार्च ऑफ आर कैलेंडर जो इंग्लिश कैलेंडर है उसका नेशनल कैलेंडर किस फर्स्ट मंथ जैसे वी कंसीडर फर्स्ट जनवरी जनवरी इज द फर्स्ट मंथ ऑफ द ईयर ना नेशनल कैलेंडर में चैत्र इज द फर्स्ट मंथ एंड इट स्टार्ट सेकेंड मार्च 1957 वेयर इज इट यूज्ड गजेट न्यूज ब्रॉडकास्ट बाय एआईआर Calendars issued by Government of India, Government Communications, addressed to the public. Dates of national calendar have a permanent correspondence with the dates of Gregorian calendar. वो सामने लिखेंगे. So first chapter falls on twenty second March, and and to, on twenty first March in leap year. So twenty twenty four May it will be fall on <coughs> first March. Next chapter, famous place and the river. पंडरपुर चंद्रभाग ओके राइट त्रिचरापली कावेरी करेक्ट हेम्पी मालप्रभा नो इट्स तुंग भद्रा
तो एक्टली मैक्सिस वन एंड टू फोर वी हैव ऑलरेडी रेड लॉर्ड विथोबा लॉर्ड विठल की साइट है श्री रुक्मणी जी नोन एज तदन काशी ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज द एक्स्ट्रा इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन एड देयर हियर चंद्रभागा रिवर और द भीमा रिवर फ्लोज थ्रू द सिटी चोलापुर महाराष्ट्र नेक्स्ट इज ज्ञानेश्वर वर्करी सेक्ट के थे वर्शिप लॉर्ड विथोबा इनकारनेशन ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा इट इज द मेन सेक्ट ऑफ वर्करी सेक्ट पंडरपुर ही रोड बुक्स लाइक ज्ञानेश्वरी चंगदेव प्रशस्ति अमृतानुभाव एंड कंपोज अभंगा ही बिलीव दैट डिवाइन ऑर्डर एंड मॉरल ऑर्डर आर द वन एंड द सेम आर इनहेरेंट इन द यूनिवर्स इट सेल्फ अपने आप वो उसके अकॉर्डिंग एडजस्ट कर लेता है यूनिवर्स त्रिचरापल्ली सिचुएटेड ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ रिवर कावेरी द फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट सिटी इन द स्टेट नायक दैट इज द गवर्नर रूल दिस एरिया टिल 1736 इट वाज विश्वनाथ नायक हु बिल्ड द प्रेजेंट डे तेपका कुलम द फोर्ट विश्वनाथ नायक रिमेंबर हिज नेम सो दैट कंप्लीट्स आर सेशन ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस ऑफ आर्ट एंड कल्चर I hope you guys are feeling confident in this chapter, in this subject now. You have scribbled whatever we have discussed. From now onwards, what is your way forward? Like for this chapter, whenever you see the news, you have to think from this perspective only. That supposingly a temple is there in the news, you have to check the river associated, the hill associated. If there is any person there, you have to check what philosophy is there. Any philosophy associated with that person? Yeah, any famous writing the time period of that person right he is he the contemporary of any famous personality aisa karke when you will study that is the take back of previous year session okay that is the analysis that is that's why previous year questions are known as bible of your preparation this way you have to understand i hope you guys have enjoyed do comment share whatever doubts you have you can uh, write down in the comment section they will be addressed positively So thank you all the best for your exams bye bye